Mark needs to make the thing, the thing go, go right. right. Eleven eggs in the basket. Alright, let me, I'm gonna, as always, I have to adjust Discord audio before I join, because it's almost always too quiet. Let me turn that up. Alright. I'm gonna hop in, and we're gonna see, I'm gonna make sure everyone is, I'm doing this beforehand, I never do this beforehand. It's a good thing I'm doing this beforehand. Make sure everyone's at 100. Well, about was at 200. Okay. Hello. Hello. What's up? Hello. 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 All right. I think the audio sounds good. All right. Belt. <laughs> I turned belt down. Powerful belt. All right. We've got we've got a beautiful set of tapes tonight. I'm starting off. I'm starting off with the one that I've wanted to watch pretty much the whole time. Uh I don't want to spoil too much of it, but in in the in the late nineties, let's say it was a it was a conceivable career to sell things on eBay. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. So hell yeah. So if, if you want any 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 tips and tricks on how to uh become a really good online auction <laughs> seller. You know, we'll, I've got some stuff to sell. I'm ready to watch we, this. We'll indulge. We'll indulge in that. I, I mean, think. people still do this for a living, right? Yeah, now, we'll see. So. We'll see the genesis of it. They say it's a virtual flea market. <laughs> All right. Uh, Maybe these tips will still help now. Maybe these will still be like good tips. Yeah, uh, man. I got, I got Pokemon cards to sell. sell shit on eBay. Who is who is in the call? So we've got we've got Gur. Gur's in the call. Hi, we've I'm got, here. We've got Lamio. Is in the call as well. Hello. And we've got Trog. What's up? We've got Holly. Holly might be popping in and out. Um, and we got Balp. And Balp. Balp and Log. So yep. that's that's the crew. People might be popping in and out as slots, you know, empty out and fill up and all that stuff, but. We're opening up. We're uh, opening up with that crew. I, um, I apologize if you hear me eat a chip. I would love to eat a chip. I'll never forgive you. So for it makes, so it makes me happy that you eat a chip. All right, I eat a chip. Go ahead and eat a chip. Oh, Holly, I'll turn mm -hmm. Holly up. I don't think you should have done it. <laughs> you can't. You can't take it back. But well. We'll allow chip indulgence. All right, all right. I'm starting off. I'm starting off with that tape immediately. Can there be a Discord <laughs> overlay? I don't have. A, <laughs> I don't have. I don't have a Discord overlay set up. You'll just have to guess. I feel like. I feel like at this point. The the the, vo the voices can be differentiated. I feel. Um. And maybe while it's while it's playing, while it's playing, maybe I'll set up a Discord overlay. All right. Oh, and I have to put up a a projector for you guys. Hold on. Let's see. Projector. That's what we call. Projector is. I'm I'm popping out the vid. And, and then showing it to my friends.
All right. Here you go. Perfect. All the vids, all the vids are now viewable with your very own eyes. Now I'm ready. I'm look. I'm looking forward to this. I. Oh, something just fell. I the only the only thing that I saw aside from the 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 synopsis of the tape is the background was just dollar signs and it was just some person holding up like a computer screen. So I'm ready. All right. Hi, I'm Dave Espino. In this Click Start video and throughout my entire Auctions for Income package, you will learn a ton right. about the Internet Auctions business right. model, and specifically, you'll learn. I'm ready to make money. Secrets. I can trust all. You learn from people who are actually doing it. People like myself. It looks like he has menus for pizza auctions. places on his desk. <laughs> He gets hungry. I really feel like this tape is more relevant than ever. When you think yeah, about it. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, people still sell shit on eBay. Tape is still relevant. Dollars a week. But before we get to twelve thousand dollars, no, 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 no. To make the most out of this opportunity. I want you to. Did you hear that? Twelve thousand dollars. Just an extra five hundred dollars a month coming in. For many people, an extra five hundred dollars a month could make all the difference in the world. It could mean less stress from the monthly bills. It could mean a new car payment. It could mean tuition to a private school for one or two of your kids. It could mean funding an investment or retirement account. Now imagine what an extra $1,000 or $2,000 a month might do for you and your family. See, I personally don't get excited unless the numbers have commas in them. An extra $1,000 oh, or $2,000 a month might mean a right? new new car <laughs> in the driveway, sending all your kids to private school. Hey, man, me too. A mortgage payment for a new home. Quitting a full time Yo, you've been job playing at the, internet the high rollers blackjack higher. table in GTA. And on top Online. of the hopes and dreams that you can achieve with more money, there are actually two benefits of having your own internet auctions business that, to me, are just as precious as the money. One is time, and the other is freedom. Time is our most precious <laughs> asset. If you stop and think about how much of your waking life is spent on the job, or in preparation for the job, or driving to and from the job, You'll realize that the job is dramatically shortchanging you and is Tr stealing truly, away your time. Truly, this video is very time before is precious time. for many reasons. Yeah. He's talking about working time from home. He's talking about selling yeah. shit yeah. on eBay. Time spent on the wrong Wait, things can never be recovered. People, people have been doing this for the last and year and a half. Yeah. I've been like doing it for a year. It's great. It's, it's gonna, a beneficial it's gonna, way of the, feeling in control the, of your the, life and it builds self-esteem. Success in this business does not require a 40-hour-a-week commitment. But it I'm waiting for them to talk about Beanie attitude. Babies and, just, and they're like all the advice is okay. <laughs> How well you use also, same time is true. Your cards. I'm, I'm absolutely now, waiting for freedom. him to mention freedom selling Beanie Babies on eBay. Freedom is one of the main reasons people go into business for themselves. But yeah, I'm excited for that. Ask any successful entrepreneur for a list of their top five reasons for starting their own business and the word freedom will be near or at the top of their list. As human beings, we're naturally drawn to freedom. We long for the day when we can quit our jobs. We want time freedom. That exciting state of being that says, I can do what I want, when I want, and I can afford to do it whenever I want. This Some guy of the benefits is talking of freedom a big talk. I want to see what yeah. he's yeah. yeah. up to dang. Crazy fucking freedom advice. to take a day off whenever you need one. Let me guess. Uh, buy low, sell you, high to will be tip schedule, one. Not your <laughs> Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> I mean, to this guy's credit. This is the reason I quit my job. And I do what I do now, right? to your own rules. Step one, opinion, make a bunch of bullshit VHS tapes and sell them to people. Far more than just Step right, one, get an investment for your father. If I were you, I'd be fighting with everything in me to, to begin to break away already. from the 9 to 5 grind and join the thousands of us who are now making our living through internet auctions, enjoying our freedom, our time, and our great incomes. In this video, I'm going to explain why internet auctions are, in my opinion, the perfect business. Then I'm going to give you an overview of my auctions for income system. <laughs> oh, 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 Wait, yeah, it sounds like this guy doesn't make money off of auctions, and he then does make money selling you video, crap. 
You'll want to locate your startup assistant <laughs> that is eBay. certificate that Wait, came with your package. Wait, is he not selling stuff? And follow the instructions no, for accessing your startup. He's those, selling, he sold somebody this VHS tape. Walk you step by step through setting up your those new seller's pizza account menus. and explain what exactly what you need to do to get your new options business like launched right away. Three books and like seven more tapes to hawk on me. Yeah, that was a lot of shit. He's figured it out. He's got the perfect business. You can just business. imagine James Marshall's <laughs> eyes lighting Finally. up as he made the first discovery of gold in California. The discovery that launched the California Gold Rush on January 24th, 1848. Where lots of people lost their money in their lives. Yeah, I'm not eight. sure comparing a similar gleam in the my fucking eye. eBay to the Here's Gold the Rush is like a good myself, idea if you're trying to sell people on the concept. This website it's called China's Wikipedia Gold Rush. Time, I didn't even have a computer <laughs> that is very late 90s, the like dot com. I wasn't even on my own computer. I was at a friend's office on his computer. The bubble will never Hot burst. Collector, I had heard a lot about eBay as a place to buy and sell early Hot Wheels cars, and there I was, sitting in awe of this huge marketplace that had sprung up almost overnight. Page after page of early Hot Wheels filled I my legit eyes, still see like people gold. buying a fuckload of Hot Wheels to hawk on eBay. Big, and I had to be a part of it. At the time, I was selling early Hot Wheels cars out of an antique toy store on consignment. And I was doing okay at it on a part-time basis. When you think about it, graphics cards are kind of the Hot Wheels of 2021. I immediately made a <laughs> to get on the internet Never thought about and like start that. my internet auctions business. It was a very exciting time. And in the very same way that news of the existence of gold spread throughout the United States back in the 1840s, today we see a similar gold rush happening in the world of internet auctions. Having With created and owned several businesses and knowing what it takes to be successful, I saw this new business model as the world's perfect business. Let's take a good close okay. look at why this guy started off is, with a lot of opinion, money. The world's perfect business. Hmm, yeah, I wonder if that has anything to do with success is starting off Getting with a significant amount of seed free. money. Yeah, like I said, just start out with investing for your father. Most internet auction world's sites perfect are business place to protect buyers and sellers from fraudulent <laughs> That's transactions. That's great. I just want a sign that says that and I want to just hang it up in my house. In a little greater detail. Your in the last tip was your income potential is unlimited. <laughs> you can make this infinite of money. Auctions still amazes me. I've sold items in internet auctions to people in the U.S., Canada, Japan, Italy, Mexico, England, Germany, Australia, Singapore, and several other countries. But I've not Greece. Started a worldwide Never Greece. Business for only the Never cost Greece. of listing an item. This means that for you know a mere why. thirty or fifty cents. You can make contact with a person clear it's across the globe that's why. and sell to them as if they were standing right in front of you. Ah, uh, yeah, think still about the novelty of somebody of on the other side of the world. The days before the internet. This is a powerful benefit of internet auctions. The moral of this story is that you should never underestimate the broad reach and tremendous marketing power that you have when selling in internet auctions. A sucker is born every minute. Virtually risk-free. <laughs> well, well, it is virtual. You to set up <laughs> <account>. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's on a computer. And a credit card There's no building. risk with There's buying or selling no on eBay. Investment Remember that, to set up folks? Your account. So getting started it's virtually risk-free risk because you'll never become dismembered account, or like you can begin get buying and selling attacked. Subject to the particular <laughs> auction site's rules. In fact, yeah, you only come across virtual with, mobs. You can begin your first week or two in this business by selling things out of your own home, and then grow your business from there. You may not realize it, Just but sell all your possessions. a bunch of items that would sell well in internet auctions sitting in your garage, attic, or basement. I really feel like when he hasn't given a single piece of advice yet. Nope. No, his advice is... He talked about either. how fucking sick so selling friend, shit on eBay is, is, but he hasn't, like, business. given any he advice. He, he did just give advice. His advice was, be rich like me. If you're not, sell everything in your home and use it to buy things to sell. He did just say... He did just say... Yeah, he did just drop experience. that like just sell things in your home experience. that you already have the exciting to things about selling sell your mattress auctions is yeah you have a way sell, you can virtually you create my income things, whenever things you need, need for my home need gas money sell your car <laughs> imagine building a website that got up to 8 million unique visitors per day i do like the background with, with the with the hundred dollar kind of bills though on yeah. the every day that's really good million is it good visitors in fact, I appreciate eBay, Yahoo, that. and Amazon, the big three of internet auctions, consistently rank in the top 25 of all websites. Did Amazon existence. used to do with auctions? Of I guess so. Yeah, they they used to sell things. things. Yeah, they were just One of the they, greatest they, benefits. They, of they, Amazon used to sell things. I don't know. They kind of dropped out of doing that. Automatically acquired as a registered user of the auction site. 
This is not something to be taken lightly. Like now they buy you. Yahoo! Benefit, and one that you should guard carefully. Yahoo! Amazon and eBay. Right I forgot Yahoo! Yeah. Yeah. Options was a thing. Yeah. Remember yeah. when Yahoo, Yahoo spent like, rules of good like five and common sense billion dollars on Tumblr this and then nobody uses that website anymore? <laughs> That's funny, right? For your that was great. Business. He's, he's, again, none of One this of is advice. This is all just like about talking about why eBay is cool. How do I know that they're going to get yeah, this hype? Like, it's like, my advice to eBay, eBay is cool. Like, oh, you you you're you going to want to do this. Well, well, well try. If you want tips, you're going to have to buy the next percentage of fraud or bug. That's what I'm guessing like i bet there's a 80 percent chance we get to the end of this tape and he's like all right now put in tape two mechanism in place this is simply a recorded comment either positive neutral or negative left by both the buyer and seller after transaction ends telling future buyers and sellers how that particular transaction went it's an ingenious system originally created by ebay to keep everyone honest and develop reviews. a record of each user's I was about to say, did eBay invent the concept eBay of reviews? Seller with reviews. a lot of negative comments and their feedback records. It was geniuses at eBay. They thought seller, of everything. At least be extra wary when buying. I was going to say, like, this where are you going to get stuff to buy? But I forgot. He recommended selling things in your home. Just <laughs> whatever. That you already own. New seller's point of view. Yeah, like, like a grandma's diamond brooch. World, you need to think Baby shoes never worn. As if it is your credit rating. Sad. So you need to take good care of it and it's guard baby your feedback Jordans. rating like you do your credit rating. In the internet auctions world, you really only have your reputation to stand on. And if your feedback is questionable, people will think that your business practices are questionable. And that will reduce how many bids you get, how much money you make, and how successfully you ultimately become in this All right, tip business. number one. Don't rip people off and get bad reviews. <laughs> What's tip number two? Tip number two is get botted reviews so you look good. Potential in this business you can make infinite unlimited. money this with this really one <laughs> easy trick. <laughs> doubling money on selling, eBay. Please contact yeah. me. really only limited by a few things. Your ability to find more great merchandise to resell. You your knowledge of creative on, selling techniques. $1 and your time. Starting bit of $2. Once you master my system and begin <laughs> selling in internet auctions, you will come to realize really, one unmistakable the way fact. that this person the is treating is eBay, it really auction, feels more like how to find a constant you'd be better off just playing the stock market. Because it's like, you're doing the same thing here where you don't really care what you're buying and selling. You're just buying and selling for the sake of buying and selling. But whenever you're doing physical goods, you have to like actually send them and get them. And they have like, hey, shipping and shit. Like, bro, just, just like go invest in an index fund. Like, just, I'm sure corn will keep being popular. Just like throw some bucks that way. I love corn. This is such an important topic. The thing like, this is, Manuals, if I have to wager your guess, he, he might not say it in this tape. For developing he might not say it in this tape, profitable but this is definitely one of those things where it's like, again. yeah, go go to like Walmart, buy shit on clearance, and then sell it on eBay for a higher price. System. Like, is this going to be one of those things? This dude treats eBay how I treat the RuneScape Grand Exchange. Just a second, I'm going to go through your options for income system with you. And it's like the Steam Marketplace it. for it selling emotes. It's virtually everything you need to get your new internet auctions business started. Plus, as a new auctions for income client, you now have free access to our exclusive online member center. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yeah. 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 Is he going to show the URL? There's no way it's still up, but God, I would want to go there. No, it's private. You can't see the URL. That was you're an HTML on his desktop. Video, which is a great first step. <laughs> Once you've completed this video, you should thoroughly read your click start manual. The introduction mm -hmm. area. Yeah, right. there Tip it is. number one was don't get bad reviews. Tip number two is so watch the video you're the already video watching. You can jump right into <laughs> no, the read the manual that came with your video. Also read the enclosed instruction book. Skills for internet auction Check out the enclosed. Develop your basic skills. Process. Think like a power seller to move your internet auctions business to the next level. Did, and even did the some book come with the VHS techniques. tape? As I guess I have to assume they were starting You know what? You should locate I'm not going to lie. So far, his advice is buy my advice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Session. I just made a buy this other book that'll tell you to buy this videotape that'll tell you to buy this from. set. That's the thing. This guy is smart because he he's now, he's doing the grip. Like this is the scam. This is power selling. This is the grip. He's making money. You're not making money by buying his shit though. Multimedia training tools I've ever seen. dropping Webex. Just yeah. the instructions on the certificate that came with your package to a start with Webex. Of Webex. I'll walk and talk you step God, by step thinking about Webex makes my skin crawl. Startup session that will give you a powerful introduction to eBay, the largest internet I prefer auction site in the world. 
You yeah, did that work from a buyer's point of view? Yeah, I mean, here's somebody, point of view. what about the VHS video exactly talk about a program, you know, that program, program has been along for too long. Tools available to you. Yeah, if that's true. Cool, because it was, it was started by Circuit City, and I trust them. Auction you run. He's going to start talking about training. Uh, I also want to tell you just a little uh, bit about Arrested by IRS. You know, everyone has guess. the potential to become wealthy and successful. Have we looked this guy success up? What was this guy's name learn. again? Chip and Dip? I don't even... I have no idea. <laughs> what was his name? Priceless asset you have forever I don't remember. No one can ever I don't take remember. Away. The key to it was at the beginning. I should have. We should have looked him up. David Espinino. Oh, yeah. David Espinino. David Espinino. And then... Have that person teach His you last one name on sounds like it should be more after it. You could learn a I, huge I, amount I, of their secrets to success in just a fraction of the time it took them to acquire that. I, I really want you to look it up and him package either gives be you a tremendous dead or amount jail. of information on how That'd I built really my funny. successful uh, dead in jail. So you can have the opportunity to do the same thing. But I've been overwhelmed with new clients who want more one-on-one you know? coaching. To take their this dude to has a, a Udemy level, course, I think. So I've no. yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this dude no has joy. a Udemy so course. He's still doing it. Number down right now. Then, what is as soon as you're Udemy course this video, call call right this It's number. for eBay. Oh, oh my God. He's still doing it in 2019. That was when this was updated. It was in 2019. This ongoing one on one support could help you achieve your goal of achieving Ironically enough, the only other so thing I can sooner. find about this, this guy is somebody on eBay selling his eBay <laughs> tutorial tape. What's cheaper? Finding the, the right tapes on eBay or the Udemy course? Is an important key to your success. The Udemy but course is honestly cheaper. The Udemy course is $22. The eBay auction is for $28. I looked him up too. He is coaching it. He's coaching and does curriculums at mastermind.com. Yeah, I'm sure he does. You could find a fortune right in your garage. Turn out trash into cold hard cash. Wait, okay. Now he's suggesting that you tear through the garbage to find things to sell people. Markets, <laughs> antique shows, yard sales, estate sales. Oh fuck more. this guy! This is the this is the guy that encourages people to go to Goodwill and could give you a talk huge shit off from there. Oh god! Fuck I that! Right? Fuck that! That's, that's, that's all. That's all. All of these are like several of my students that used to on on TV program decades, where it's like yeah, just buy stuff. Oh look at these guys! For most of the merchandise they resell, it looks like a predatory loan ad. The old saying: one person's trash is another person's So like the thing is like. These all work the same way. The advice cash. always boils down to go buy stuff teach you at Goodwill or on clearance. On stuff the that's cheap and then sell it online. That's all this. That's all the advice. I don't know. That's all it is. That's all it ever is. One of my best kept I don't know about the Goodwills near you guys, but the Goodwills near me just have a bunch of broken electronics. I'm not sure that I would get much for those on eBay. Dude, I I got my N64 from Goodwill. The thing is always the thing is always just like oh then, yeah go to walmart go go look at profit. what they have on clearance that you can get on cheap and then sell for full price on the internet and drop shipped merchandise i've even you know what this guy it. really should be giving you some photoshop lessons i love these covers <laughs> i, I want to learn drop that shipper is a wholesale company so someone, someone point why do you make why do you think your goodwills don't have anything good it's because of people like this then once you Someone also said in the chat that he's teaching people how to buy domain buyer, names and flip them for money. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly though, I feel like that's that legit. If I can, if I feel like I can address, predict so like the name of a Marvel movie that's gonna come out in like 2030, <laughs> like oh why not god. just grab it? <laughs> Here's an example of how a transaction would work. You might advertise a dropship company's portable CD oh, player for fifty dollars. They have a sale. Oh. You don't actually own the CD player. But you do have direct access to it through your drop shipping source for only $25. After receiving the payment of $50 plus your quoted shipping costs, you forward $25 plus actual shipping costs to the drop So shipper, he's saying, like, don't even buy this shit. Just like work as a middleman and say that you have it when you really address, don't. And they ship the item directly. Yeah, to like Soldier Boy did. They can even use your address. Yeah, this I mean, is like the equivalent of me saying I have something on eBay and then when the person buys it, I just buy it on Amazon and send it to their <laughs> house. <laughs> I mean, that, that's Why would anybody do that? That's what he's describing. Like, drop shipping, use this drop drop shipping is not like, so he's, some of my other he, like this is not new. Fact, like, this is, it, this like, concentrate almost like exclusively you know, like, whenever, like, a tweet goes big and then they go like, oh, buy these lights, that's what that is. Like, that's what this is. Like Someone ladies, makes a joke about like a frog, and then it immediately below is, "Ladies, buy this vibrator." Information and instructions yeah. you'll need 
to access your free drop shipping account. Always and lights and vibrators. Valuable information on other ways to find great Best wholesale collect merchandise. These days. Check out the Galaxy Fucked Projector up. lamp. And also the fellas, your prostate right? will thank you if you to pick this up. To make the amazing opportunity of internet auction <laughs> even better. New services have been I'm not sure how a lamp is supposed to help a cross take like okay. it's, it's just the, the, it's the wowness of the galaxy. Almost instantly. Trog, you've just it's not been eliminated yet. Because customer it's like, those right are the, the, the electronics that are easy to make. Past, you would have had to set up an expensive <laughs> merchant account with a That's bank true, in order yeah. to do this. But thanks to the incredible popularity of internet auctions, companies have created new cost-effective auction payment solutions. Okay, I thought he was going to like, I mean, he has advertised other... The benefits like of he's utilizing the like service are tremendous. You can collect your money almost instantly. He's There's advertised. No more check in the mail. He's advertised three separate things that he sells already. Yeah. You can ship your products right away and straight to the I have, I have, I have a lot of thoughts about PayPal. Seller's protection policy. Yeah, I was about to say. I have a lot of thoughts about PayPal. In my opinion, PayPal is the perfect payment solution for new internet auction sellers. There are no set of fees. Peter No monthly fees. Fuck All you. you pay are some very small transaction fees each time you make a sale and use the there's, service to There's another cash. program. Refer to another the collector program cash named. almost instantly. Oh, yeah, he's going to teach you how to use Collector cash almost instantly. The hand comes out of the screen and gives <laughs> gives you money. This yeah. is like PayPal for dummies stuff. Now let's discuss one of your most valuable assets, and that is, is a new time. game to play. Well, it is true that we cannot cram more hours in the guide than the or hours rap album given. cover. We need to remember that it is possible <laughs> to accomplish more. Were the people that like smarter. bought this tape happy? Fact, like, I feel like if I bought this, like, and it was that not good understanding what help. these scams were like, so busy like, oh, I'm actually going to make money, and then like this dude advertising his own products for 15 minutes. I mean, definitely not. No, probably not. Absolutely not. Because these tapes are like. Because either you realize you can't do this, would do for me. and it's not viable as, as a job, the auction or service, you try it and you go, oh, with a lot this, less headaches. this was My bad advice, I, I lost money, I need to stop. This was, this was the equivalent of back in the day, like, the auctions end. if you looked up a tutorial and it was, like, no sound, it was a text file, and it didn't actually tell you what you wanted, but you paid, but you paid, like, eighteen ninety nine plus shipping and handling to be given the wrong information. Print invoices. Print labels or create reports of my sales activity. Do you think that there's the an the instructional mouse, tape on how to create scam VHS like instructional tape? Yeah, 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 like yeah. like how how and deep does the rabbit hole go? Conduct a high volume, profitable I would now see that's something that I would be more interested to own hassle. is a tape Please that teaches you how to do VHS scam tapes. You'll thank me later. Check out my online resource center in the members area. Nice. Auctions for income website. These graphics. The auction management service. Auctions for income. This is website. So one of the number one time savers has been. My auction management service, but I'm another way, way you can multiply your use of time is to take on a so partner saying or that hire this a guy has a master class course where he does one, where he has a course on selling courses for your business. Oh my but god, I found that it dramatically <laughs> eased the pressures on me as my business grew. This guy has got it all Even if you just figured have a friend out. Or family member help you with shipping that can make a huge difference in your ability to produce more sales. Here's the bottom oh, the line. site does redirect if you're to 50 or 100 dollars an hour. Dave you want to be sure to measure your time and determine what it's truly worth. Doesn't it make sense to pay someone five or eight dollars an hour to help you make even more money? That's oh, but don't worry. To me, His tapes are sense. now on DVD Taking and they're on Amazon for extreme, six dollars. Oh, thank God! A huge business by bringing on more and more assistance. It's three ninety nine delivery. Earlier, How everyone, much do you think he I mean, makes? Everyone has the potential uh, $5, to become wealthy and successful. Five thousand dollars a month. Four thousand dollars a day. Success is something that you can learn. Five thousand dollars a week. Once you've learned how to be successful, yes. it is a priceless asset you have forever. That no one I feel like this away. guy just lied. I, I think this guy tried to do the eBay thing and then failed and then was like, well, I'll just you make a tape pretending like I know what I'm talking about and get people to buy that. Oh, no. In he hasn't, like, shown any, like, like, proof that he's actually, right like, he just keeps saying, like, oh, yeah, I've I've done this, I've done that. But where's the proof? I mean, where's the proof, Dave? If you look at the script, he says, like, he got, like, $12,000 a week. to helping you achieve your success. Before and after that, he never says he made it on eBay, now, right? He yeah. just says, for my hey, that's how much show. money he makes Listening scamming you people. How much money you're making well, uh, and how good my news, success uh, and I've on, totally changed your life. In 2010, he put up one called Auctions for Income, with you, a powerful, proven, recession-crushing system. The world's perfect business. Wow. <laughs> that's all we needed to do to get past the recession was just sell your shit on eBay. Yeah, you can sell your condo on eBay. That's really the more it. things that we sell, the more money that appears. There's no tips. Man, fuck this guy. His he mentioned tip reviews. Was, don't get and bad that's reviews. It. it might hurt your income. <laughs>
And then sell buy my you five already, other books. Yeah. Sell what you already own. Don't get bad reviews. Buy everything I've ever made. Okay. And, and Did a great still, job. And, and drop Fuck you, Dave. Drop shit. It was 2003. He also, just, he also said to resell things that are sold in Goodwill. Uh, so fuck you. Yeah, great advice. All of yeah. the, well, like, children love that advice. I, I literally don't know what, like, any of you were complaining about. I'm earning $3 million an hour now. <laughs> oh, I no. I feel like... Ah. I feel like I've complained about this on a VHS viewings before. <laughs> of people, like, uh, buying things on at Goodwill and s I just to Goodwill sell. and reselling it, yeah. Yeah, that's a constant problem. Thankfully, the stuff that I buy at Goodwill is, like, stuff like that, so I'm not too worried, but... <laughs> It does make it exciting to find, fact. like, a genuinely good, like, game at Goodwill or something, or, like, an old piece of technology. Yeah. The secret tapes in Tony Hawk? It's that guy's tapes. Little known fact. Oh. I had I had someone kicked out of a Goodwill for doing that shit once. Really? How some, did you... Yeah, I, I, I saw some... Because you're actually not supposed to do that. I mean, how did what? you know that they were going to, like... Because I yeah, saw the bitch they... on her phone picking up items and then searching it on eBay. Oh. Wait, well, why would Goodwill <laughs> care? Because they're just there they're to a... sell shit. They they make the same amount of money. Because they're a charitable organization, and if you they see you are specifically in there to resell items, that's you're not. Supposed yeah. to I guess that's fair. I would do that if I if I knew, but all right. I learned nothing. Yeah, I, I learned nothing but bad things about Dave. So, but I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit more hopeful about the future of eBay selling because yeah, it's I the think world's eBay's perfect business. You've learned the identity of your enemy. It's the world's perfect business. They're literally perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. Nope. Um, as you, gonna... as we can see in today's economic climate <laughs> of uh, twenty thousand dollar GPUs and ten thousand dollar Pokemon cards. Yeah. I need I need to escape from the world of PayPal and eBay and money and into uh grilling things very quickly. Good idea. So I will oh. do that. Grilling things quickly? Oh, oh over your mic. I used to watch these as a kid because I was poor and I didn't have cable. This is Ron Popeil. The show you are watching is a paid program or advertisement. USA Network is not responsible for the claims and representations <laughs> made by the sponsor. The following, the following program is a paid advertisement for the Quick Cook Newspaper Burning Grill. Wait, whoa, 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 this, is, hold on. this is a grill <laughs> that <laughs> runs off of newspaper. <laughs> newspaper no. Burning Grill? No. No. Not I'll give it a thumbs up. I mean, I don't think that's particularly bad. Newspaper is like, but newspaper burns. It's fuel, but like, I want to see that. Give that ink also burns is the thing. Give that nice ink taste to my steak. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Using newspaper to start a fire for like a real grill. Yeah. Yes. A grill that runs only on newspapers. I need it. Like I'm. I yeah, that's what I'm confused about. Everybody. I want to see this thing. What I'm going to be showing you today is going to revolutionize the way we do outdoor grilling Tony in this country. Pesci, you know, like I you want this so bad. He sold me. Inexpensively, Tony you can enjoy Pesci, the wonderful taste like of my uh, lady. My, uh, my grandfather's newspaper collection for this. This is the Safari I, Cook Grill, I, I, and it's I revolutionary because all it burns is. Man, I'm not gonna lie, paper, you found a pretty no good place to film. I want to go there. It's like a little lake <laughs> just back nine there. Or ten, yeah. 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 Tree. It's chill. It's enough to grill four good-sized hamburgers, chicken, fish, hot dogs, corn a on good the cob, you name it. You probably saw okay. you name it. featured recently so on the home show. Just, okay, the so it's just a tremendous. grill, but it everyone wants to know how to get one. A quick cook newspaper burning grill. Yeah, I feel well, like what makes it anything? Yeah, what makes it newspaper exclusive? Casual living. Yeah, a barbecue story. A magazine in there. Hold on. Barbecue story. A a what? Yeah, a what makes it featured in the New York Times, the Chicago Sun Times, and countless others? Definitely thought that said newspaper fucks ozone. <laughs> and had some fun watching other people use the grill. But first, we made this newspaper have sex. Quick cook works. Awesome. It has such a terrible shape. 
to well, yeah, show you what's incredible. It really is a flower pot. Yeah, it looks like a flower pot. It's like a trash can. It looks like a trash can. I was about to say, it looks like a garbage can. Man, this is like before 90s. In the 90s is when they like started making infomercials like really like professional and family friendly. Okay, Here it's like, see, yeah, let's check out these babes. The yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm into this, this dude on the right with the hot pink pants. I'm into his outfit. Yeah, I feel like the pants are like 3D. Like the pink is so like bleeding <laughs> it's, out of the it's tape. So bright. It's, it's like popping out yeah, of the yeah, All their outfits are like, all their outfits are very dated. Okay, it's a like lot. A Cheryl, will you do the honors? Sure. So this appears to just be a bucket that you light a fire in the bottom. Right. <laughs> yeah. put something on top. This okay, appears to be a trash can. Really which is just a real topper on. This is just oh, a okay. Deus Ex set. Oh, high up. <laughs> yeah. That's Wait, how it works. What? That's it? Boy, that's hot already. That's hot already. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so it's been about 13 minutes. There's that's a fire incredible. in there. Fire. Fire is hot. <laughs> cook both sides. <laughs> Well, Here's a tip. They have one of these at every single campground ever. Right. And yeah, but now you can buy one them. and bring it around. But, but it like, is... This isn't something revolutionary. This is literally just like we made some little insulated pot that you can throw whatever in. Well, it looks like yeah. I'm to yeah, turn, like, turn the flipper. I'm sure like the Inca invented this oh, in like the 1200s oh, or whatever. We had like all this extra stock going around. We just used camping goods and we needed to like Move the mace For you. Burger's done. I'm a little disappointed we didn't get to see the entire 12 minute Hold process of grilling a hamburger. Hold on. Did you guys did you guys spot the sin that I spotted? No, what's up? No. They had they had they had patty tomato cheese. The cheese supposed to be on the patty, not the tomato. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. So, I'm concerned that we couldn't actually see the burgers after we made a big deal. Talk about the upcoming game and do some serious. I mean, no one no one's using this thing, so clearly you know history has decided the victor already. I mean, that guy's like poor glider fluid on the grill top. Instead of their regular. Yeah. They had the grill assembled in no time. Stuffed it with ten sheets of newspaper. <laughs> it looks like a trash can. I love it. It's literally it really is. putting newspaper in a trash can. A trash can. Brought up on charcoal and lighter fluid. What's this product? I mean, I'm sure it's made out of like something, like some kind of specific metal. But... It's just clay. What's I think it really again? just, it, it really is just the fate of the infomercial to like, try to make you think that something that is very simple is like groundbreaking. Like that's yeah. what they're, they all try to do, right? Like, so it's like, oh, check out our amazing quick grill, grill hamburgers in 10 seconds. It's like, just like a hot pot, a pot with a fire in it. You can buy one for $30 on eBay right now. They look great. Are they still being made? No. I'm not gonna lie, this does make me want to grill though. It does, it makes me want to Honestly, show me grilling meat, I'll be I'll be hungry no matter what. Yeah. Oh yeah. Quick. Let me have a little bite. No, I can have a little bite. Google, can you show me some grilling meat? Yeah. <laughs> Please? That, that's grilled meat. That's cooked meat. Yeah. Nice. That's cooked meat between two pieces of bread. What? You know what? Damn, he's going to town. You know what I will say? You know what I will say? This thing probably works as advertised. Yeah. I mean, it looks like it works as well. It's a grounded commercial I've seen yet. Yeah, it's just a bunch of dudes eating the food that was made on it. Oh, yeah. That's real great, dear. The food and the charcoal. 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 I thought you got to taste half of the time. I wish. When COVID's over, me and the boys are all going to take a bite out of the same hamburger. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want that. I want that so bad. Hanging out in, in, the, in the trunk of our car. Well, mission accomplished. Man, the interlacing. <laughs> What's going on? They're like traveling through time. Yeah. That's the power the burger has over here. Are you still grilling outdoors when we invented a grill that runs entirely on the end? Yeah, here's the, here's the great part where they try to make the competition look impossible to yeah. use for some reason. It's the quick cook grill, which burns ordinary newspaper instead of charcoal. Just crumple up nine or ten sheets of Here's the thing, couldn't you just put charcoal in the bottom? Right. Within seconds, the I don't feel like there's anything special about this that makes it so it's like specifically 
good no with for messy newspaper. And no right, that's, 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 that's what I think face. looking at it, too. The so. patented flipper has self-contained handles. And but the flipper is patented, so. Place. The flipper looks that's like it will fall cool. apart. That's pretty I like that idea. That's fine. <laughs> it looks very fragile. But now it's only nineteen ninety five. <gasps> they still oh, sell for thirty nine ninety five. What a deal! You that? Cook that? Grills and cheaper. save big because you'll you get a ten percent discount on your second grill. And oh, your second grill. These are ninety dollars. And if you Keep if one you, one you home, and one combine your them, you get the moment, picnics or a new device. Oh, the second as a gift to your camper <laughs> friends <laughs> or to a college student. Just stack them on top of each other. You can like put. You can you can just use it as like a book stand if you want. Need a quick meal for the kids. Or a garbage can. You get a free garbage can. Also works as a garbage. Can with which you will set on fire later. Brats, or lightly Thank grilled God. chicken. With inflation, Tender they still sell for about the same price. <laughs> Always taste okay. better grilled this outdoors. Object still you can make luscious Let's find out. Fewer kebabs, fresh corn on the cob, just quick grill? dripping with butter. Yeah, quick grill. Yeah. Yummy popcorn. And light yummy. Quick hey, the wait, quick cook. Oh, I thought that person was fishing out of that. Round. It's Good so news, everybody. The few they minutes. are now selling this on eBay, so we can, oh, use, nice. we can use our <laughs> our <laughs> insight so from the last video to bid on this, boating, on this, on this, and then resell it. Yes. Why mess up the kitchen when you can have that savory outdoor grill taste? That's you know that's learning at its finest. That's how they get It cools down as quick. Honestly, I'm looking on Amazon. I can't find this thing. It looks like people just kind of like took this idea and like iterated on the design to make it. Better. Which tells what do you mean you can't? Your so, I'm looking right at it. You can't get this recipes. specifically, but you, so if you want stuff the like it. Taste of I'm looking right at it. What are you talking about? Hassle. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. Money, eat healthier, oh. You guys, you, and hey, have the, fun the, doing it. The Texas Boys quick make a video where you guys try to use the toll-free number on your screen. I mean, I have a I have a grill. I have a grill. But the real grill can't use newspaper. This shit. It's completely guaranteed. If you're not totally delighted. Come on, man. You're, you're, you're forgetting you about the savings. You have a flipper for your so-called grill. Very soon, your quick cook I will can be get one. Your so-called grill, grill have a party. patented Call flipper. Now. Yeah, honestly, I'm <laughs> all about the flipper. <laughs> Does your grill make I, tasty I, popcorn? I have an I have an idea. <laughs> I, excuse me. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have a really good idea. You, you should buy. You should buy it, right? You should buy one of these. It seems you guys should do the Mario Party. You guys should do a Mario Party contest. And the loser, you should have a cookout, but the loser has to use and make their food with that instead of, and the rest of it use a grill, like a normal grill. Two minutes and thirty seconds, and it's almost half done. Something that I find intriguing is the fact that there's an entire VHS tape dedicated to this. Who was this is for? Did they just like that send these great. out in the mail? Like, why does this exist? Probably back then it was super cheap to just right. make a tape. Yeah, yeah. Done in seven minutes I mean, that's, that's the thing, is around the late 80s, early 90s, tapes got so cheap that you could just pump this shit out. Yeah, I can't what, believe I always use his newspaper. The hard part to I definitely Instead thought that thing in the bottom left said no gods. There is no god we grill this. You can't grill a god. Her glasses date this very well. I was gonna say, I actually really, I'm into those glasses. I went and got new glasses uh, a while ago. They're like making glasses that look like that again. Those are back in style. Yeah, they are. Lady is dressed for 1985 or 2021. She would probably trust me cooking on this thing and not using the the other stuff. This is just. I was about to say she looks like a really person nowadays. All right, thank you for your time. Fashion is cyclical, you know. Yeah. Thank you for your time. I, I would I'm say waiting we for probably use it uh, 30, 30 times a year. And, uh, I mean, it's more high, than bro. That. But, uh, I it's would say this. Who is this? I saved a dollar and a half every time I cook. That's Pappy. Uh, Let's just figure it right. I save a dollar and a half and, every time uh, I cook. And I saved a hundred for you. Over, yeah. over $45 per year. Well, uh, is it just me or does that seem TV like not a lot for it? That's fucking nothing. No, $45 no, dollars a year is like what? If you account for like inflation, two bucks a month? Like oh, wait, inflation. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me figure that out. Because it gets me out of the kitchen and I. Alright, instead of $2 a month, it's $4 a month. That's still the That's about a hundred. No, 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 no. That's about a hundred bucks a month. Or steak outside. No, because it said forty-five dollars a year, not forty-five dollars a month. Oh wait, yeah. 
It's $100 a year. Here's the comparison in case you confuse the two. How much do you have to grill with a regular grill to save $100 a year? It's free because because you use only the newspaper, which you'd probably toss out anyway. I think I grilled once the quick in the last two itself, years. So it's easy to take everywhere. You know what it's like to lug around clunky grills, you and know. jungle bags, and dangerous <laughs> lighter fluid. That doesn't and look difficult at all. Do oh boy, do I. From a regular oh, oh. No See, that dude's cooker. fucking Is that what you, is you, you just pour the charcoal out in the... In the parking lot, and uh, pour a bucket of fucking water on it? Whoa, look out! I've never been tailgating, but I'm not sure that's what you're supposed to do anyway. What are you doing, Michigan? Fix it to real dire out in Michigan. Friendliness to the environment. Charcoal and lighter fuel. Toss it over the border. Look at the Canadians. Whoa! Look at the fireworks. So that many of them are totally banned in the Los Angeles area. Newspaper is much safer to burn. <laughs> Using LA as rate. your fucking basis. What about how long it takes to get your food? We're gonna fact check how quick cook gets its name. <laughs> it's up to five times Does faster burning than charcoal than actually like? Only twelve minutes. Just be I mean, wrong. I'm sure you burn enough of anything and it's bad, state. but I think just Why burning enough to like cook on is not gonna I mean, char that bad. Charcoal basis is wood, isn't it? Fuel cost, yeah, I thought. I mean, it emits CO2, but not to the degree that matters. Hands down. And what a perfect gift! Just think of the people close. To you, what if I wanted to? Hey, what? All right, what was that sound? Right, right. well, what? Oh, I, love that. <laughs> I hate to take a long time to prepare that guy, meals. That guy was so excited about his grill. And <laughs> nothing I happened. I'm a stickler for healthy food. Uh, my book, Healthy Cuisine, oh, for that's people, a great is written and endorsed by several hospitals. The, uh, and I not enough slide whistles in infomercials. Yeah, this is a clown noise. What the fuck? And have it fit that, into their lifestyles. Hey, I just, I'm uh, about to blow I also it. like quick cook because cook it, grill out it does not use charcoal water. or fluid. What if I want to make five burger patties at the same time? Food, which does concern me and... and you gotta buy two. Luckily, you get the second oh, one yeah, for 20% off. You're right. The fat and the grease drip off. So, this really works very well for me and it's a lot of fun. really works. Yeah, Let's you weren't genuine. Look at you in pain <laughs> at the this end. Group of she was, they were activating the shot caller. Yeah, because they put the girl in the living room. Minnesota. I'll just crumple up these walls of newspaper. Boy, like Minnesota. This. Go like this. I think it's pretty cool. People in Minnesota really <laughs> look like this, guys. I like those sunglasses. They still do. Fuck. Amazing <laughs> review. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's, okay. it's, 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 it's alright. Cooks meat. Yeah, you know, what do you like I'll, best about I'll the grill. give it to them. They're not like, they're really not like, they're definitely hyping it up, but it's not like they're saying anything that it's not. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's just a small grill. Oh, yeah. That runs on newspapers. It's a fun little small grill. You can put it in your backyard. Whoa! Oh, grill, not banned in Los Angeles. <laughs> Quick cook by Safari, recommended highly by Viking fans. <laughs> Vikings fans, not a good endorsement. It's, These it's guys look now like they I don't want it. Uh, they clean up easy. Who is this uh, guy? Last a long time. Oh, it's sorry, it's Dick Reus. It's, it's Dick Reus. Everything goes back in the box. The they capitalized the I in Dick, my that. mistake. They did. That, that? I that can see was where very the quick strange. cook would fit in with just about any diet program. It, it would make it a lot easier. DLCK. I first got it from a neighbor who gave it to me as a gift. And I looked at <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, a gift. And, and uh, I, I immediately said, threw nice. it away. And I put it, it was away. a re gift. Well, uh, then I wanted a refund. Uh, oh, he actually said it. <laughs> grill, and all of a sudden, I, I needed to get a new charcoal grill. And I took the quick hook out and tried it. And instantly liked it. And never did buy a charcoal grill after that. We're here now with a group of kids from the local school celebrating the end of the school year with a cookout and a unique volleyball These game. These are not it's kids. That's <laughs> when we're done playing what? what do you mean? Kids? Kids? That dude is older than I am now. Everybody had kids in the 30s. This should be fun. Oh, those crazy kids. Yeah. Definitely not you like know, late okay, 20 yeah, to early 30 year old guy. actors in well, the LA yeah, area. People have been getting younger yeah, over time. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, like. And they're oh, all the unboxing contest. 20 years old in the 80s is like 33. All right, team A, remember to be as incompetent as possible. Yeah, how are they? Do you guys think will win? Do you think that the product that they're selling will win, or will the other one win? Yeah, they super glued the charcoal grill shut. It, it would be pretty funny if the charcoal grill won. <laughs> like, oh, well, uh... 
Okay, you know, you can't put them all, but it's still pretty the good. Cook is immediately ready to cook food. There's a bunch of quote unquote kids. Oh my that yo, that's so much! That oh no! What? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> the start of. They're gonna. Okay, the I was gonna say they're gonna start fire. No shit. The mid is fucked up. Oh my god. Someone's gonna get. Someone's gonna. Someone's gonna get hurt. There's so much exposed skin because all the girls are wearing bathing suits. Try another match, fellas. This was before they made clothes like fire resistant. This was before they made clothes. <laughs> that too. <gasps> it turned into meat. <laughs> it just transformed. It, it is so. It is so transparent that everyone is wearing like swimwear. Mm -hmm. The girls' burgers like, are already half done. We, we need, we need, like, we need like hot people to sell this girl. This girl girls literally hot. love our six hot be, grill. Can you have something pop up on your stream oh, every five minutes and ten seconds that says, "Now ready. it's time to turn the flipper"? <laughs> <laughs> can I just show up on your stream at, at, yes. a, at a constant rate? Burgers done. Let it eat. Bring on the condiments: lettuce, tomato, onion, ketchup. Bring on the gutter. This is cheesy. Come on, I'm starving. Oh, the burgers turned out bad. <laughs> they all <laughs> fell to the bottom of the grill. <laughs> Wait, do you uh, want good? Do you want good burgers that you can eat but they take longer, or do you want bad burgers but you get them uh, faster? Well, gosh, no, my worry. burger what tastes disgusting. Days? It tastes like no Garfield and Family Circus. It's so fast. Yeah, it says so specifically on the I box: do not out. use the funny These pages. Your food will come out wrong. I taste funny. I use Heathcliff in my my It tastes great to me. Tastes even better. How about the flipper? Was the flipper easy to use? Oh, it was absolutely easy. I mean, I I can't even maneuver hamburgers on the grill, but I can just do them all at once, so one, I really like it. Absolutely. I don't think the ink on the newspapers no, would be bad about. for the food. Yeah. I, I don't think grill. that, We've like, I don't think there'd be enough oh, yeah. residue yeah. to, like, Definitely. No more McDonald's hurt your food. Yeah, no, yeah. If you yeah. use this at the frequency yeah. that they yeah. want you to use it, it would eventually give you cancer. Like, what you think about the grill? Well, I mean, back then, they put lead in paint, so it didn't if it, well, if it's lead paint, then yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. It's not lead ink. And you we're don't know starving, that. waiting for the calls to turn. I, I know that. Look at how fast it is. Chicken sure? I'm one of those guys who, when I get hungry, I want to eat. Yeah, now. read up some more on that, Kurt. <laughs> <And> I'm not gonna eat burgers, but I'll throw them out. I want to eat. I want to eat. Can't now. believe that this is still operating on the, the assumption that these are kids from the local school. <laughs> yeah, when I'm uh, when I'm in my stuff, <laughs> my ninth grade <laughs> English class, I want this a burger now. They would not let children near a charcoal. Grill and lighter fluid. I almost didn't make it to the grill off today. I had to study for my French test. Yeah. <laughs> school <laughs> rules. Skittles class. <laughs> this Kittles is gonna fail me if I don't keep going to lessons. It's a lot faster. Took us 50 minutes just to hook that thing up. This is nice. Now see, this right, is the good. This is the raw the stuff. Food? These these dudes are tailgating. They're like right, already right, four beers right, in. Some yeah. camera crew rolls up and is like, "Hey, can we give you some free right burgers?" Oh my god, a dream! <laughs> I would love this. It would be impossible to not please them. <laughs> exactly, it's like it's set up for victory. Like you can't fail. Oh my god, look at the ten drunk burgers agree. No, I don't cook at all. It's the first time I ever cooked in my life. These dudes have already done like three beer bombs each. <laughs> Good for them. You were skeptical when they'll be found like with the newspaper. Face what do you think about down these guys tomorrow? These guys, these guys have done a. These guys are. are these guys are. I, I can't believe newspaper tastes as good. I've got three Coleman girls at home. Okay, a double burner, single. I'm throwing them all out and buying one of those. I am a bit of a Jimmy Carter fella too much, but all right. Oh no. Uh oh. No. <laughs> no, look, they paid them to ruin Talk their grill. Versatile. We <laughs> can, we grill can we kick your grill down? Hey, for $20, can we just, just kick this shit break. over? I, I will say I'm a bit of a hypocrite because, like, any time I go right visit in. family, just imagine the great uh, summer taste. They I just make like a, they just make like a pit yeah, and throw this whatever is in there. This is a great idea. Sticks, I paper, trash, quick and easy. Just whatever. No I love my stick and, then, and then you cook a sausage on it. Hey, would you yeah, usually during camping, own? that Take advantage of I'll find a, there's a bunch of shit in the fire that I'm like, wait, why did we put that on to you? 
better. Yeah. Hmm, is it safe to put that in there? More. Best not to think what about it. Oh, well. <laughs> well, food tastes better Probably and more rich the by I like cook is, it over a finer page. It's just so fast compared to the conventional grill. <laughs> Hopefully. With quick like I mean, I said, better. Just, start to worry when the thing you put in doesn't burn. You stuff the newspaper yeah. and light it, How you're ready to go. You don't have to sit there like, and wait not for long enough. the charcoal to get hot. Uh, uh, it's all ready. Long Once enough for me to be convinced. To. So <laughs> we're going to have to wait. Yeah. <laughs> It ends I mean, when I buy you one. You can order it right now. You know, the yes, number's on the screen. Girls. And they were fanning. I wonder, like, have you ever called any of the 1 800 numbers that have been on this show before? No. Mm -hmm. Nope. I don't even like calling normal numbers. numbers. Yeah. I feel like most of them at the exact lines. I'm sure they don't exist anymore. But, you know. I mean, they repurpose those, right? Like, what I call it? Yeah. Yeah. It'll turn it into something. And that's what I want. And that's done with newspaper. Now, you got to remember now, we're Newspaper. not using charcoal. I love this music. We though. don't squirt on any of that juicy, oily Hello? stuff to make them really smoke up good. Hey, do you know anyone who lives in an <laughs> yeah. apartment? Yeah. It's cut of all okay. right. He's talking well, too much. Angle. He, he it looks so powerful. Room, <laughs> and you don't have to keep dangerous lighter fluid or charcoal It looks like he's going to throw the, the contents of it onto me. We don't have a half hour yeah, he's going to throw the charcoals into that bush and start a fire. You can get home from work and be enjoying this great outdoor taste in just a few minutes. And when you're done, you don't have to worry about disposing of hot charcoal. It's smoking. Just slip the quick cook back in its box smoking. and put it in a corner of the closet for the next time. Boy, these are almost done. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh my god, why are we still going? It keeps going. They had so much footage from just one place. They were so excited. They're like, oh my god, we got so many people they talking about this. They went to VCR camera. I mean, I'm assuming that this is the kind of VHS tape that you, like... There's no way, like, a human would sit through all of this. Like, this is a VHS tape. I mean, I guess we're doing it, but ignore that. This is a VHS tape that, like is supposed to be Steve, playing on like a CRT TV night. in the checkout line at like right. a Bass Pro Shop up. or something. Yeah, pretty much. Right. I mean, this is this is the stuff that that's on the TV when I can't fall asleep and I'm like, "All right, I'll just turn it on and right. half watch it." <laughs> this is the Super Bowl. This was the Bears versus the Vikings. This was square in 1985. Wow, nice. You're forgetting that you're forgetting that back in the 90s into the early 2000s there was this period of time or there's this moment in time every Sunday where you wake up every Sunday the news would happen, and then there'd be infomercials before they air more normal TV in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. I do that. If you didn't have cable, you were subjected to that shit every Sunday. The good old days. I'm the meat man. Always meat man? I've already eaten dinner, and honestly, this make me hungry. Seeing stuff yeah, being grilled, yeah, that, that right always makes me hungry. hungry. I see, like, too much hamburgers, too many sausages. Yeah. I want it. Love a good yeah, roasted burger. One, looking at this, I'm even hungrier. The chicken doesn't do anything, but... Flags and umbrellas. Who wants to pack three big cumbersome grills? Like, <laughs> charcoal or gas? Just two little boxes like this and bingo. Yeah. Seeing is believing. Gonna take four minutes? <laughs> Not even four minutes. So much mustard. So Seeing is believing. Here's a hot dog. I kind of want a hot dog now. This is are now. they selling the hot dog or are they selling the grill? Because I'll buy a hot dog. <laughs> Yo, we got three logos for you. <laughs> <laughs> the editor was getting bored. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> this is the work of This is the work of Shit, don't these infomercials quick, like, quick usually go on for like an hour? Like, <laughs> I'm not the sure. Uses this is the work of an avid fan. They is collected the every quick cook commercial. The bottom of the every quick cook. Uh, the meat is placed tail on the foil. Visit. Every celebrity appearance. But look. The food goes right. yeah, you know, the quick cook collection. We haven't seen any celebrities yet, unless Dick Roos was a celebrity and I'm unaware. <laughs> Seared on one side He's in a Minnesota celebrity, okay. To finish cooking for great Local Minnesotan taste. celebrity, <laughs> Dick Roos. And now the taste test. That's all they have the in Minnesota. Is is this. The quick cook grill it's snow. It doesn't taste like paper. It tastes like great outdoor cooking. Looks like we'll <laughs> taste <laughs> <test on laughs> So glad it doesn't taste like paper. Now for cleanup. The quick cook grill. I think it held a gunpoint for that. See, Just I feel like the real the issue with this is that and you're you on can't. Your way. Meanwhile, transfer taste through a television cooker, screen. You know I don't cleaner. know how these taste. I just have to take quick your word for it. Pays for itself in just one cookout That's season. why she told you how it tastes. It could be bad, and you could be lying. I don't know. 
I can't do this. I need that newspaper to line the bottom of my bird's cage. <laughs> You save twenty dollars, yeah, but them. hold on. Buy two mm, quick cook grills no. and save. Them because Make you'll your get choice. A 20% discount your bird on your or second your grill. Limit two grills per person at this low price. Bird. Bird. You can use it for almost everything. Make oh, delicious hot dogs and brats, or lightly grilled chicken. They, they keep using for everything. The chicken doesn't look Make great. Your food they keep somehow. using like the saddest images of sausages and chicken I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, the chicken just looks drained of any what? life or like juice. Why do you stuff them like that? That's in, that's infomercial food. Yeah. Minutes for your morning coffee at the campground. Even fry up crispy bacon slices for mouth-watering bacon. Why is the bacon white? Be creative. Yo, the first veggie. We've seen. A few drops of water, and you have a healthy, flavorful treat the whole family will enjoy. You'll also get our all this is done is maybe you want to go camping and grill. And is full of tasty, tested recipes. I want to use my with English this grill. Mind. You can use the quick cook year round. You camping? It's so fast. I you're also the love the stars and stripes now forever. Yeah. I'm not. I haven't this replaced this music. This is the original music. Camping, boating, picnics, they really had like the the circus so pack of sounds. Grilling, yeah. <laughs> what do we if have that's time, that's money, free? Healthier, what's what's in the public domain? Have fun doing it. Then order your quick cook grill today. Call the toll-free number on your screen. Operators are on 24-hour duty to take your credit card order or credit send a check to your credit order card for the purchase price plus seven dollars. The line is busy. Damn, that's trying. Insane. There's so many grills it's are completely guaranteed. Off. If you're not totally it's insane. Delighted, it's insane. Somebody whose job it was to sit on the other end of that phone line order and take today. people's credit and card information and then send them a bill. We'll be the talk of your next outdoor grilling party. No, no automation here. You have to talk to a person. Nightmare. Back before machines stole our jobs. That was it. Oh, thank God. I was, I was, I was, I was half hoping for another round of that one. testimonials. Oh, yeah, that was not good. That was hard. <laughs> We're free now, right? That's what oh, we call uh, that. That that's like a improv. You know, like a like a workout. <laughs> you can you make jokes about a fucking grill for thirty minutes? <laughs> that's like the kind of stuff you you would encounter at like a a coffee shop improv show. I want. It made me want burgers. Yeah, I, really want burger, burger, yeah. I had a burger for dinner and I want another one. I had a burger last night and I want another one. I can eat ten burgers. <laughs> uh -huh. I believe in a row or just in general. Ten burgers. Oh, somebody said in the chat that the quick cook grill line is now a Christian Jew fellowship hotline. Oh, well, well there it's you still go. in use for them. Mr. Well, Dink, it don't I'm glad that paper. they are sending uh, posy vibes throughout the world. In the Judeo Christian values. In that's, the I think that's, that's why, like, on like old, like, like wrestling uh, uploads that they do, they always block out the number because they, they can't, like, determine what the phone number will become. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They just, I think anything. they just give them out to, like, I think they just, you could, you buy those, right? I think is how it works. Mm -hmm. I don't I know how 1 800 numbers work. You probably just sign up for, like, you, yeah, it's like somebody just probably owns a bank of numbers, and you just like say, "Hey, I need a one eight hundred number," and they just give you one. You know, yeah, like that's how it is. Yeah, is I'm sure you can pay extra to like have it spell something out or whatever. But mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah, like, that's uh... also a thing. All right, what's next? What's next is in the same vein, somewhat. Oh great. Oh. Um, Maybe not uh... about directly about a grill. Uh oh. This one makes food colder. <laughs> this one is just about using a knife. Hey, you know oh, what? Honestly, my knife, knife skills are terrible. I, I could use. The same. That was the logic yeah. I had going into it. I was like, I'm alright with knife. Oh, this is actually a good like knife company too. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome knives. to the J. A. Henkel's knife skills instructional video. I'm Jim Schiebler, and I am truly excited to teach you at home how to become skillful, None of these names precise, sound accurate, real. and confident. The knife setup is a bit scary, but... The finest knives in the world. I'll, I'll point it towards the They're all targeting the one big knife. Years. When he finishes talking, he's, talking, he's going to snatch them all up and hold them in one <laughs> hand like a fan. <laughs> See, I was hoping that, like, for, like, a scene transition, like a stinger transition, he just grabs a knife and throws it right at the camera and, like... It, co it covers up the viewfinder and then it just like cuts to the next shot. Most of the time spent in the kitchen is dedicated to the, the preparation. Most of the preparation is dedicated to knife skills or cutting or mincing or chopping or using a knife in some way. 
Therefore, if you can increase your proficiency while using a knife, you will spend less time in the kitchen. This video will demonstrate every single People say they like cooking, but everything I hear about cooking is always knives. about like, can I do this faster? Do I have to do this for like, can I just I speed up this process as quick as possible? I don't want to yeah. cook for any longer than I need to. Yeah, I kind of hate cooking. I love cooking. I literally love spending like hours in the kitchen doing spaghetti or whatever. I, I like, like cooking only around. because you get food out of it. If I'm hungry, I hate cooking and I want it to go faster. Yeah, I think that's my thing. Is like... I hate making a mess. Yeah, yeah I love cleaning it. up sucks. I agree. You have Eventually, to like start cooking you before you're hungry, which is seems counterintuitive to me. Which is the ultimate mm -hmm. breed then I'm just like taste testing the excellent. entire time and we then I'm full. I wish, I, I wish this guy could teach me how to cook things like a sim skill. can. And I encourage you <laughs> to stay focused and I'm just trying to figure out what the thing to the left is. Yourself. It's so good luck. Remains <laughs> degraded like that a... I can't tell. Remains. It's a, a strike board. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was like some kind of like aspic thing. Like, its usage. It could very well be the aspic. Therefore, I will be demonstrating the techniques using my right hand throughout this video. Up. You are left handed. Simply reverse the techniques. Fucking remains. We will begin with the perfectly king of vague. Knives, the chef's knife, also known as the cook's knife. This knife can be virtually used for 80% of all kitchen cuts. Any percent run. It's very simple. I grip the knife with my three fingers based on the handle, where the blade attaches to the handle, which is called the bolster. I then oh, are you supposed to do that? I just do it because it feels better. Parallel to the blade yeah, of the knife that, with a slight downward oh. angle. You have more control. Have Who gasped? Wow. Was like, what was that was me because <laughs> for a second the angle was just directly pointed right the at the camera. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> got scared. He might have you. My index finger. And the I love the, the idea of someone that doesn't quite know how videos work so that say <laughs> someone on the TV could hurt them in any <laughs> moment. My, my first and only movie I ever I saw was Spy Kids 3D, so I just think everything is 3D now. <laughs> if you hold the knife like this, it'll be perfectly balanced like all things should be. This looks uncomfortable. Yeah, this doesn't look like ideal. Like if the knife was smaller, I would say yeah. I'm not an expert, so I'm going to defer to this guy. Okay. Yeah. We're taking a left About turn into a history ago, lesson. A yeah, but just for two experience. seconds, though. In fact, I felt that they designed this knife specifically I feel like I saw a child laborer in one of those slides. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk a child about what knife size knife. knife you should choose. First of all, a child driving with a knife sharpened truck. First, the oh, size God, of your hand. This the knife. Your hand. Don't hold it like that for sure. In fact, oh we had a lot of 12 year olds working there. The Use the large of your hand, not the small of it. Knife, you can usually handle a bigger knife. Also, I'm afraid of beginner, knives. This video is going to six me. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no. God, nightmare Third, for you. It's okay. It can't come out of the knife, TV. The it's stuck inside. Cover, it's okay. This is from the early 2000s. You can barely see it. Yeah, honestly. smaller the knife, the safer it is. Just like whenever he's like holding it where it looks about to go to his hand, like. And this also, freaks me yeah. out. Just focus on the so Shikuchi board. I will. When choosing the <laughs> I'm size pretty good with knives. <laughs> now, how do you hold your opposite hand? We I'll focus on his beautiful button-down collar shirt. Your stabilizing hand. First you forgot the all, knife. You oh. make sure that your middle oh, I'm going to start no. with my fingers. <laughs> oh. 90 degrees from the board. <laughs> Honestly, start by like, shaving the off your knuckles. The VHS tape that, that starts as like a knife instructional video and then just like instantly Never turns into exposed. like graphic body horror just effects. Tim and Eric would be ass. pretty <laughs> fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. Any scene in any movie that involves like a knife or a needle would freak me out. Yeah, I don't like the movie. From this position, I just want the hand to walk off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the product, but they're actually pressing yeah, the family. Yeah. Those yeah. four elements do, do, do. will ensure that you have a safe cut and will maximize your This is good advice, efficiency. but it just looks scary. Remember, safety is the key. Never bring the knife blade above your knuckle, okay? Always stay in the knuckle. center of the middle knuckle. Obviously, I feel like it makes product, it look scarier. Like, Secondly, you can just have it have your knuckle pointing out. And towards just... your knife blade, okay? Because that Not even like have it run perpendicular to your skin at all. He keeps breaking Instead, his own rules. Retreat with your fingers. I do this by utilizing or just sort of give the carrot a little back scratch. I press 
firmly down with my three fingers, and then I bring my Carrots two fingers back. You do this too. I do it again. I press Just down. Just tickle your food. It, it makes so it taste better. Retreat. Carrots, favorite and the trick. The final thing is, I always Carrots only do this when they're very relaxed. So make sure you make them do it all the time. <laughs> I never move my knuckle and then move my knife. Move my knuckle and then move my knife. Now see, this is the part of cutting together, I'm really bad at. And they are always touching. Takes practice. That will make sure. Yeah. That you I never don't cook get enough cut. to be good at it. Like, fuck you this. How the I'm fuck you do that? That he's just showing it's off. Just yeah, he's just you showing remember, off. Fuck you. He, he, he said something about how, like, oh, I never move my knife like this. But for some reason, when he said I never, I mean, he thought he was gonna say I never hurt anyone with my knife. My knives have never tasted human blood. This I can guarantee. You need a good knife and a good carrot. Now, yeah, that's the thing that they don't talk about the in in videos like this is like you like half of using a knife efficiently is having a very sharp knife because yeah. if yeah. it's like dull at all, it becomes so much more difficult to cut. Mm -hmm. Like I break my knives recently because my fingertips are always behind. Like I was trying to cut a carrot, it was just like so hard. I was like, it's time. And then I come down. I hit my finger with my knife, and then I come down. I never move, and then the knife. It's a together motion. I keep them together simultaneously, and I always retreat my fingers, never feed, I love when someone sees an onion and immediately thinks my Shrek. My are always behind <laughs> that middle knuckle. Don't do that to Shrek, no! No! Oh my god, Shrek is getting killed! He started cutting the onions and my and my eyes started watering, I don't know. Maybe this um, VHS tape has some psychic properties in it. Come on, Shrek, no! Fingers. He's absorbing Ooh, Shrek's power. He's turning green. Retreat like this is so fucked. Never feed. Never lift the it's knife making him angry. The knuckle. Press down on the Ooh. onion. And He's so angry by your poor knife skills. The board. What the fuck? Whoa! Oh, fucking God. show Our off. Our next cut is yeah. diced <laughs> onions. Notice when I peel the onion, I left the root on. That is key in keeping the onion mm -hmm. together and prevent it from falling apart. Now I utilize a stabbing and pulling motion with the onion. Mm -hmm. I stab and I pull, and I slap the tip of the knife against he my knuckle. He says that in the court. <laughs> <is> the <best. laughs> yeah, I stab and I pull. What else can I do? This is my stab war cry. Stab and pull, and look how I go right against my knuckles, just like that. You now tried to rob me, and I stabbed and pulled. Together, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come underneath the. And then works. Retreat dictates. He didn't get a dime so out of me. Cut of the onion. Now I cut underneath, and I bring the onion towards me. I've never seen someone cut this like this. The knife and yeah, the no. Onion, yeah, no. This is uh, this is how you oh, dice oh, really oh, quickly. And I go over the top, and now I come straight down using a rocking motion, just like that. And See the rocking, I'm pretty good on. with. I never seen that. I used to have to, used to, have to Julian, cut shit like this for a grocery store. So. Now I take my red bell pepper. What Something I want to like do meat? is I want to remove a little bit, yeah. bell pepper now. So I have a, a little steak cutlet. Even bell pepper is the meat now of the vegetable I world. It's true. Again, that same neck plant. What about what about mushrooms? Oh wait, they're not mushroom plants. Mushroom is the meat of the fungus world. The blade using the heel. Yeah. Now the heel is so positioned good. directly underneath no, my hand. Mushrooms are good. They are. Ensuring that I have they're terrible. Control and you make it in like a, a red blade. wine sauce. So good. There we have proper you can do a lot of stuff Foxes with mushrooms. One eighth by mm -hmm. one eighth I, I, here's what I do with them. Put them in the trash where they belong. You and should go. I'll just make them better. Those grill That'll just make them great for your grill. That's why I don't like them. They come from poop and trash. Now, you you take the That's what most food comes from. from that. Just uh, take the what do you think cows, don't, cows don't eat so poop and trash? Your blade. What do you think Press their food comes from? Uh, a ghost again, using that same rocking They eat the grass that the eats the poop and trash. They're right. like a, a buffer, that's okay. <laughs> oh, so you're fine with ghosts doing it, but not cows? Okay, I see how it is. Ridiculous. There you have... I'm so uninvested in what this guy has to say right now. <laughs> He's cutting. The next technique is smashing. I'll use garlic first. Now, there's a couple of rules to follow on this. Make sure that the product you're smashing is not too taller than the height. He's going to smash it. Width. He's also, red now. Also, make sure that it's not wider than the blade of your knife. Before you come down with a tremendous... I've seen somebody color to color and just saying, He's blank Hulk now. <laughs> to make sure that you got it going and it's cooperating, and it doesn't take off like a rocket. Now, once you get it to that point, what I want you to do 
is remove the garlic clove from the peel. Now, once you get it to that point, again, I want you to get it going. I want you to bring it towards you. So again, you have that ability for that blade to be flush with the board without any gap in between. Now what I want you to do is I want you to hit it hard. And I want you to drag your knife against it. And look at that. Now we have What is he doing? Garlic. He's hurting it them. It only takes you minutes to make prepare. Paste. Now done in only seconds. Well, that's what he'll do to you if you anger him too much. Same smashing technique with ginger. I make sure that it's not higher than it is wide, and I make sure it fits. I'm learning. Good. I didn't know you could smash when ginger I come like down that. With a lot of pressure, I make sure yeah. it's cooperating. Now it's separated into two pieces, which I'll split. And again, I will smash it into I love the sound. Some paste. But now, ginger is very fibrous. Notice all these fibers. So what I do now is I line these up perpendicular to the blade of the knife, and then I just come down with a rocking motion again, and I mince those. So again, garlic, ginger, this technique also works for lemongrass. What normally takes you sweat and a lot of tears in the kitchen now can be done in a minimal amount of time. Now, with the invention of knife, it can be done how to quickly. Chop parsley or Thank any God. herb. It fucks slap chops. Chopping herbs is easy. What you do is you take a motion from the back and you go to the top of the herb. Then yeah, see, this, this is the shit that I had to learn how to do. Oh, yeah. This is a good herb. trick. Just now, rock it. Sure I taught, yeah, I taught myself the this. The blade, but actually, is in the center of the bottom of the palm. And that will enable you to have control and safety. And once you learn this technique, you can then gain speed and chop a lot of herbs in a minimal amount of time. That will ensure safety as well. This looks fast forwarded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and slow it down, especially with the fucking the back of the knife, and is one of the scaling fish. Who's that? Now, you're gonna no, see these kill your fly pet. around like crazy. Oh. They usually wind up in my hair, <laughs> and you might want to do this him? technique outside Stop it. before you bring the. Fish see, I've in. seen Gordon Ramsay cut fish really, really fast. You got competition now. The back of the blade works perfectly. No, they're helping him. They're massaging him. It feels good. If you're having trouble cutting it fast, turn off the music and set it to borderless window. <laughs> the next technique is how to fillet a whole fish. This is a side swimming fish, fresh salmon. It's a very large. I think fish. most fish so swim forward, so I don't know what you're talking about. Knife. This Not is a all 12 inch chef's knife. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is cut behind the gill area. There's a no, little bone structure. Don't do it. Oh my god, they are oh. slicing also him! Using a very large chef's knife. This is a 12 inch knife. Stop it. I always use a knife cut it larger out. than the fish itself. Don't tell him to do that. Don't now, cut it out. Behind the gills itself. <laughs> yeah, don't cut it out. Don't do it. No. About a Stop it! Angle, making sure that I maximize the yield. Now what I do, once going I to have that, I cut off. through the belly, oh, and I dang grab it. this flap with my Can other hand. Can we show hand. this on stream? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, oh, and I'm going to twist the knife, and I'm going to turn oh, it over. God, and then you're I'm hurting it. The tail of the fish. Now notice you're going to hear a sound. If you hear this cracking sound, you know you're right in the zone. Because you <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we'll listen for that. So remember, I turn that my knife light over, of God at telling the same stop time, it. I thrust it towards the tail of the fish. Now, that was Zantetsu. Yeah, the God rays. <laughs> now, I angle my knife at about a 5 to 10 degree angle down against the spine of the fish right here. And that enables I have a smooth sail all the way to the tail. Now, remember, I also lift with my thumb the belly of the fish. I don't think sure I'll be uh, cut it out cutting fish that big ever. No. Remember, this, is, <laughs> this is probably very expensive. <laughs> oh my god, they killed him. Now this is making me hungry. I want some good fish. Me too. If I ever, if I ever caught a fish this big, I'm not really, I don't like eating fish, but I would, I would do that. I wouldn't eat a fish this big. I angle my knife at about and a remember, five degree leave angle, the in. center part of my blade. See, this part I will always I have, have a hard time with. with yeah, my it's opposite hard. Hand. I can never keep it, like, now, level and gently, I just lose meat. I rock the fish back and forth, and I wiggle the They're tail. Going to take the meat away. And I come all the way through until the head of the fish, and then I come out the other side. Now, what we do is we always remove the pin bones, and then we slice fillets always from the head to the tail of the fish. And that is exactly how you fillet a fish. 
Did he remove the, the pinbones? I don't recall seeing him do that. I don't really think snakes. that happened. Now these snakes <laughs> contain the backbone and the spine of the fish, adding more flavor to the actual flesh. I've already taken the liberty to cut off the fins and gills with kitchen shears. Now what I'm going to do okay. is I'm going to slice straight down through the actual no. skeleton of the fish. And this is a no, this is you could have put it back in the water. <laughs> Why you, you could have put it back? Just full what are you of doing? Stop it. It would have gotten better. Hey, I, I, I seeing so knife. seeing where the cuts that I see in the grocery store come from is like pretty interesting. Kitchen. Now yeah. this works wonderfully. This tape is a bit too instructional poultry, and seafood, I'm not used yeah, to like uh, seeing things that I've not seen. This is by far the most actually useful VHS tape you've ever watched on this show by like a factor of ten. All four fingers on the handle of the knife. Including the index finger. I don't and know if I'd be able to pull off most of the, parallel to the knife of the techniques, blade, but facing at a slight downward angle. I might this keep technique this one. and this straight up and down motion and this grip on the slicing might knife keep this tape works by some perfectly fish. for perpendicular slices such as turkey breast, meats, some fish as well. The second grip on the slicing knife is when you have all four fingers on the handle oh, and the something thumb got censored. actually on top of the blade running parallel. This technique Weep. works when you slice to the right, such as gravlocks or smoked salmon. A wonderful technique. The third and final grip See, I don't is really the identical know the grip that there. you use for spearing yeah. protein. Just cut wonderful. Put the knife on stuffing. the thing. Now, I make push. sure I keep all of my fingers, including my thumb, back on the handle. That way, when I spin my knife, my thumb and my fingers are out of the way, and that is the key. So what I want to do is I want to come inside the pocket of the loin Ew. itself. <laughs> I Come on! Say that. <laughs> I was about to say, like... <laughs> you say that. That's, uh, you know... I was waiting for someone pocket. to make the joke. Uh, oh, no. Oh, we can't show oh, this. Know. We can't show oh, this. Hey, man. Bring in that like, this is a family show. Phone. This is a family vehicle. The next knife is the boning knife. This is definitely oh, right. you know what? Yeah, well, I'm stop. <laughs> Butchers rely more on boning knives than any other. This knife. tape is getting a little weird, Scorpy. I'm not sure where you got where what store you got this from. It said cooking and oh shit, it's sex. All right, fuck. All right, I didn't see the last part of the, of the title of the tape. Was covering up the bottom of the VHS tape. It said knife tricks and sex. I didn't see it. Uh, we're, we're missing the most sexual grip. This gives you precision, oh, no. <laughs> accuracy, and control. Well, he's going to show us. With your index finger on top of the blade, using your tip, you just This is the poke, hottest knife technique. Spear, pull, just the tip. You pull with oh, your fuck, opposite this looks hand. Hot. You pull that meat. Here, I have I, I, a wonderful... I, 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 this is, this uh, is no, did you see the white shit out of there? <laughs> oh my god, the artifacting. <laughs> the fucking... Bones, using that tip of the knife... This is the most erotic knife trick we'll show you yet. Oh my god. You need to maximize the yield while minimizing waste. Someone had yeah, somebody had to have edited nice. this tape. Come on Same now. Same technique works fantastic for flatfish such as sole. Again, using I like the sole. I eat sole quite a bit. Straight. I never had it. Like sole food. I used to eat fish and chips a lot, and they always had sole covered in Doritos dust. Whoa! Whoa. I'd yeah. eat that. It didn't that taste. Good. It doesn't taste like. It didn't taste Next, like Dorito. The exact it just tasted kind of crumbly. Chicken. Huh. Notice I can just go in the chicken with panure, my knife, Doritos panure. stabbing motion, and I pull that thigh bone right out, and I'm able to go right underneath the oyster just like that. Cutting whole side. chicken is such a pain in the ass. Oh, it sucks. It's so bad. Oh, no, yeah, this guy your makes it look easy. I turn it this guy's yeah, worked great if you have a completely, like, a perfectly you sharp knife. This looks yeah. like the full knife set. Right Honestly, yeah. this looks like the it's stupidest important. way to use a knife. Like, I'll now <laughs> he's, he's, he's clearly a professional, but he's just like, the way he does it with Keep this knife specifically, it just looks like you're just hey. unsure what's going to happen next. Out of the way. How did you get the blade on one side of the rib? Well, this is not. This is completely segment. incorrect. What I do is I take it on the other side of the segment. No, this looks right. The same procedure until the turn, yeah. pops right this, out. This is more like if you're remember, trying to cook with orange. 
utilize Wait, and I thought oranges were like pre, like already came in slice. Like citrus, you open an orange, and you identity. can like break it apart the into slices already. Not all types of oranges. And that's why you're like trying to put the orange in your food, like you're cooking with it. With all four fingers on the hand. Remember, if you're trying to get the pit out of an avocado, point the knife directly into your palm. Now, it works wonderfully and apply for pressure. Size items such as I went salt, through a phase where I was eating a lot of citrus fruit because it's really tasty and I gave myself like acid reflux and I had to stop. Oh, I thought you were going to say you gave yourself like reverse scurvy. <laughs> that would be interesting if I came up with a new disease, Same thing. but unfortunately, no. Wait, what's reverse scurvy? Too much of a vitamin. Sunburn. Too much vitamin C. Yes, sunburn. I slide my knife all the way to the end of the food. sunburn. Now I lift that, and then I... I wasn't paying attention. I what is he cutting? What is that it's meat? It's to beef. Remove all that it was the producer. Fat. That looks wild. Yeah. He's cutting his way out of Silent Hill. Yeah, I was about to say, that looks like a dead space or something. Man, you guys don't see a lot of ingredients being like... Not really. I don't cook. No, you don't see you don't see that much like, like meat. I guess, I like guess in general, the especially during preparation. I, I guess the you, you've got a I unique perspective. I guess the difference here is that I, I, my parents buy a lot of like whole chickens and now stuff, and I buy them yeah. when they work in a restaurant. Like, like my, like my, parents work, my mom, my dad worked in a restaurant. My dad would prepare the meat all the time. Is that a grouper? See the. Using an angle the chicken part and all that stuff, yield. but I don't remember that much. Again, of it. I, come down to I don't know about look you, look but I think that fish is crying. I don't think that fish is very happy about what's to become of him. Cut out the bait. Knife. This kills the fish. Downward, this fish is having a bad oh, I hope Googly it would kill eyes. the fish because if it was still alive, that would be much worse. Skinning it becomes very easy as well. Remember, I bring that to the back of my board. Yeah, I wonder I if with a slight incision, I hold that down and then I wiggle it as I wiggle my knife value, in put opposite direction eyes on the fish. motion. Okay. Here we have skinning and filleting. Woohoo, it's me, the fish! Snapper. Don't worry, I love this getting a snapper. Excuse me, I, I knew it was either a grouper or a snapper. Especially fillets yeah. of beef, Yo, that fish lamb, changed color. or pork. That's a big fish. Look how easily it goes through the meat. And I love that long really blade. Big fish. Ugh, I want barbecue. Oh god, me too. It's a barbecue place down the roof for me. Like, no more food night, videos. <laughs> <small> <laughs> 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 I already <laughs> ate dinner. It's wonderful dinner too. Smaller protein, I'm about to have, have to get big dinner. I'm about tomatoes. to have to go get barbecue at like oh, 9 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Bony knife grip where you have your index finger yeah, and your finger so bad to the barbecue the handle hand. and the bolster I want to get barbecue. The barbecue is so expensive blade, though. And the three fingers yeah. underneath on the handle. It's like once every now and then for me. Complete control. I depends on where you are. I don't think I've ever I had barbecue smoker. from a restaurant okay. ever in my life. Pouring. Well, I know uh, brisket is like $30. Pulled chicken. For blanching. Depending on it also practices. works great for segmenting I... small citrus. Oh, you talked over. You taught me how to score, and I didn't hear him. That was on purpose, Scare. I want hey, I oh, I need this because I make I go to the I make uh and my knife already lemon smoothies. Stops. I go to the other side and then segment comes. And I have right. a I hard honestly time. thought that was but a really good grip. The second grip works great for peeling potatoes and sweet potatoes and yams. What you do is you square <laughs> off your. Potatoes. I'd rather just use a peeler. Thank yeah. you. I hold my potato in my you know a thumb, tool designed to do it my index safely and, my middle and efficiently finger, and then I come around having my yeah, fingers I'm, on the handle my parents would try to teach me how to do this shit and I was blade, like no I don't want to cut my thumb off I use my thumb on the other side like I know how to do this it's just, just right I would rather not I, again it's a tool that does it perfectly yeah. and yeah, I feel like I'm so bad at this that I lose too much potato yeah he's losing a bit of potato He's using, sure he's losing a lot of potato. Hey, very little waste. Listen and to him. Utilize his it is faster than a peeler, that seems. So. Yeah. This exact yeah, definitely. Technique and grip works for an apple. So I begin my incision and I spin Who can cut an apple, apple apart? Who can cut Notice an apple? Thumb, Hashtag super safe so you can see it. Yeah. Cutting an apple, apple apart. Are you a baby? I love that. Damn, that's like cool. Full spiral. Now you could you could hang that up and use it as a decoration or something. You, I'll yeah. You with this technique. Put in your your good, fancy. He's gonna beat me. Just like that. He's gonna yeah, beat he me. Is. The third grip works great. We're all gonna watch. Citrus such as oranges, lemons, and limes. VHS tapes were the original TikTok. When you really think about it. First, <laughs> I these are life hacks. 
the actual yeah. arm. Now, before I do the technique, let me show you the grip. Just imagine this video, but sped up like three times as fast with, with no dialogue and just like a weird sound, like a now song in the background. That's TikTok. Put a lot of pressure on the Some text arm. on the screen that says and like, here's how you use results. a knife. I use yeah. a so text circular speech motion. Voice. Yeah, really here's, here's how you use, use a knife. Here's how you use a knife. Watch out for your fingers. Uh, New trend. You heard about these knives nowadays? The People are always are like using them for stuff. And now I'm almost ready to segment. If I still use TikTok, I will just claim Again, to have invented knife knives. <laughs> indispensable in the home kitchen use. I did that for a little bit. People got mad at me, so I stopped Our doing it. Our next knife is a serrated knife. This knife works oh, great knife. for cutting things that are tough on the outside and soft on the inside. Breads especially, and tough skins vegetables, such as eggplant, bell peppers, and tomatoes, work great with a serrated knife. Now the grip is... I don't know using a serrated knife or a tomato. Directly yeah, or a bell pepper. My thumb is parallel to the shaft on a slight downward angle, making sure... I can see a bell pepper, no problem, but the tomato is like, uh... It's very good, I use kind of knives on tomatoes. Now, watch how easy it is I wish I could see a bell pepper. I've Damn, that's a sharp knife. Remember, holding down firmly with my other hand. And it's been so long since I've had a baguette. Feeding. I want one. I think you're just I hungry. Awesome. I don't know. I'm looking at food makes me hungry. I don't know what to tell you. Because they again, which have oh. very tough outside and soft. Yo, they inside. made the emoji into a real thing. Yo, Whoa, <laughs> this is where it came from. <laughs> Remember, it came I'm from this VHS tape. Almost and slapping it's the never going back. Off my finger. He's so cutting cool. his cutting board. No. Before I cut it. Hankles also makes a fantastic five-inch serrated utility knife, which works great for smaller breads like muffins, dinner rolls, and bagels. Also on tough-skinned fruits and vegetables like Japanese eggplant, apples, and pears. Let me demonstrate on this Roma tomato. And okay. notice I use the tip. It's a stab and drag <laughs> motion again. But it's against my knuckle. So I have complete control. My knuckle. And complete knuckle. precision as well. The 5 inch utility knife works great for cutting smaller breads such as rolls, muffins, and bagels. Watch how easily it goes right through. It sounds the like he's getting bored. Using its sawing motion <laughs> and its bit. serrated teeth. It Damn, now I want to sub. Both worlds in a small I want a fucking hoagie. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Here's another fucking knife. I don't know. Apple. Oh, he just threw the apple check. away. No, it Fuck it. Very, very and it's red skin. delicious too. Ew. Be able to go right through the apple. The red apples suck. Effortless. I want an apple pie. And that is key because normally a flat bladed Can we watch a video onions. just about how to make apple pie? <laughs> I think that's Do nice. you have one of those? The next knife is the cleaver. Generally, oh, there's shit. two different types yeah, this of cleavers. One's cool. A heavy Look, blade he looks so much happier using this. And a thin one yeah. <laughs> You'll see this in all your favorite video games. Bias. This is the thin <laughs> I hope he like chops through a ham bone. Those techniques. Now, the grip is identical to the chef's knife. I have my three fingers underneath. I have my thumb basically parallel to the blade itself on a slight downward angle. I do feel course, like there's some correlation between the size of the knife that he's using and his general enthusiasm for the, the recording. The works great for stir fries when cutting on the bias. Using the tip of the blade, you'll see the complete you really control use I have. Yeah, this yeah, feels odd. Technique. It's always retreating odd. with my fingers. No, I believe this. Knuckles, you can use this cleaver for basically anything. Yeah, clear. that, I mean, but... Wouldn't you show something that you could like only use the cleaver type on? Of cleaver, which is the dense, heavy cleaver used for chopping bones. Now, bones oh, yes. are the Oh yeah, here we go. I want to see some bones soups, sma snapping. And stews. And it's vital that you use them to get the most flavor out of your bases. Now, most of the time when you get bones, you get them whole. Therefore, you need to chop them up because the smaller the bones, the more flavor that's going to permeate into your soup or stew. The grip on the heavy dense super stew. cleaver Oh, soup or stew. Oh, I thought he said super <laughs> stew. Yeah, I was I like, what on earth too. is a super He's stew? He's complimenting your dish. If you chop up the bones perfectly, you get a super stew. Sports, you have to make sure you keep your hand out of the way. First of all, if you I don't chop tell them you, right, you, take you get your cutting mistake. board and you flip it over, especially if it's a wood board, because each wood board has a beautiful galvanized surface on one side meant for cutting and julienning uh, and mincing. 
perfectly flat surface, and the other that side is, is not refined. That is a big cutting board. I so wish I had a cutting blocks, board that big. Put big that must be terrible to clean, sleep though. on that cutting board. You want to make sure you designate that bottom side, so turn that board over. Next, only raise the cleaver as thick as the bones are. Make sure your cleaver is sharp, obviously, and let it do the work. That's why it's heavy, because it does the work for you. You don't need to slam down on something that's only a quarter of an inch thick, because that increases the chance of safety risks. So we want to be very careful. Uh, that sounds boring. Also, make sure it you increases keep the risk of safety. Hand that you're don't be a love it. Increase the chance of safety. At least eight inches away from the, the cleaver that's coming down in its motion. D d that will ensure safety. So remember, only bring the cleaver up as. Well, do as I want more safety or less safety? I don't understand. How risky is not making it tell what's in the board. I want less. Personally. Completely out of the way. Let's begin. I want you completely. <laughs> oh my God! No. <laughs> oh, oh, this shit. This is scary. This cut up. I'm all ready to make my bully base, and we'll move to our next lesson. <laughs> He's gonna teach all you right. a lesson. A sharpening steel is your final element in your knife set. I was bored again. First of all, let's talk about how we hold our knife. I remember sharpening. seeing those in we like in again, hold our three in like the cabinets the and being like, "What on earth do you cook with that?" To the blade <laughs> yeah, you know, whenever I was a kid, I always thought they were like, "You're supposed to like stab it into something." Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like to carry like something around. Like steel steel is as follows. I thought it was like for this holding the knife. This would be a normal baseball bat grip, as I call it. What I do is I bring my thumb around donuts. to where my other four fingers are. <laughs> this is also known as a hook or false grip. Now there's an oval base that all steels have. What I want you to do is make sure that the long part of this base is facing towards your body. So in case I do miss, it goes into the steel the base. The fuck was that? Obviously Yo, you you heard that too? These yeah. Two safety that was, precautions will ensure that, was, that, was that you won't S. get cut. His S peaked. Now, my arm I think he's secretly a bird. My, body. my steel is almost perpendicular with he a looks like what was that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize the motion he's fully of charged. my wrist and not my shoulder. My shoulder stays fixed. I'm going to sharpen the if knife from the This video does end with like an incredibly realistic door effect where he accidentally steel. cuts his own hand now, off. I'm going to be really disappointed. This is actually info I want. I've got one of these. Yeah, I've like, never known how to use it. They make it look like he chops his arm off, but then like he just sticks his real arm out of his sleeve and he's like, got you. I'm also a special effects artist. <laughs> Please buy my other DVD that's about special effects. So first start slow, obviously, all in the wrist, 20 degrees on each side. Oh, that's how you do this. That I still I can speed it up. But notice I'm only The close up is a bit too close up. I'm not even coming. Yeah, this is what Gordon Ramsay uses to make fire. This sounds fake. It sounds like they added the sound effects. And you really only need about oh, six or seven strokes. Let the knife blade do the work. He's not scared. the power of your shoulder <laughs> or your wrist. Those techniques combined will ensure that you have a safe that's the Hell's Kitchen sound effect. I know what they're. Yeah. Another they what did you think that sound effect was? A timid with that approach would be That's just how it's a knife being walks. sharpened, my man. The board, <laughs> and then you utilize a downward motion using your wrist at again. I heard that. Twenty degree. I hear angle, that cat. Just like that. I hear a cat. She's pacing around. Hi. Well, that's your cat, not my cat. Here's the sound that means uh. There's gonna be some treats coming up. You should consider when purchasing knives. Sharp knives and their flexibility. flexibility. Have some give to them, and other knives you want them to be what very rigid that? without any give. Hey, For example, a boning knife. Boning knife, you want some flexibility to because you are carving in and out of joints and cavities with proteins. Very important that it has some give, so it has some forgiveness to it. Slicing knife. Again, I never would have said that. A lot but... of the times I will be slicing leg of lamb with the bone in, or carved roast turkey on the bone, or even a bone in roast ham. Therefore, a good amount of stuff. Stop talking about bones. A great idea. That, just, that freaks me out. Whenever he bends it, that makes me scared. That's like all I've been so far. Don't, don't you just spend every day thinking about how much you want to cut up bones? Because you are cutting Not usually. Firm products. Sometimes I think about how I need my knife to be flopping. Give to the play at all. Cutting and the more rigid last year. you have, the better. Also, our final concern would be... I need my knife to be tender. Our knives have a great mouth feel. Put them in your mouth and see. Just put your knife and be up and low and slow. I want my knives. My knives are so good they fall off the bone. A lot of flexibility 
and you bend it, it'll start teeth. to glow. That so will guide you through your cutting of the when you're choosing your knife. These knives are so tender, they just fall apart in your mouth. It causes a, so it causes a chemical combination right inside, right. so you can see inside the cavity of your Thanksgiving turkey. In addition to the safety and those red hot knives you would see on YouTube all the time, like two years ago, yes, so those were <laughs> rare knives. There are other safety concerns that you should stand. I personally haven't cut myself in over safety. a decade. I'm very proud of that fact. And that's Come on, boring. Sure show me tricks. Show me how to juggle them. To all the safety elements involved with cutting. Now, first of light all, light a knife on fire and use that to cut. Before you even you like some handle a knife. Because like the now I will fight you. For <laughs> ownership of all these on knives. Sleeve, and that can result in a deep cut. If you win, Next, you get all the knives. Never to grab a knife without looking at it first, because you never know which direction the blade is facing. Well, why would anyone Next, do that? Never. Cover a knife with an object like a towel or rag because you never know what you're going to grab. Because it might scare you when I pull the rag off. It might surprise you. Because it can easily slip out of your hands. Next is when you cut an object parallel to the board. Never keep your hand behind. Cut towards yourself. Because you never know when the knife's going to come out the other side. Always keep your hand on top, and that will ensure that you never get cut. Never cut when you're distracted. Instead, first put the knife down, then tend to what's needed. Never try to do a <laughs> knife no with the knife still in your hand. Never clean the <laughs> that knife was really, with the oh my blade God. facing your hand. Instead, Rapid fire. turn the knife over and stroke it on the top this of the box. I honestly never thought about that. Never. Turn it over and stroke it. I always clean knives, knives that way. Knife. Yeah. Instead, so, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think I've ever cleaned fall. my Yo, knives. Yo, look at that chunk. <laughs> Why? It's... Hankel's I'll wash them and let them dry, but I've never really wiped Ooh. anything on them. Instead, wash my hand with soap and water. It's also, good to know that I've been doing everything right without even realizing. Before. You could accidentally cut yourself and storing them loosely like Oh, well, I do this, so never mind. Really? You, you don't have, do like, that? a knife holder? Well, we that do, looks like but... A, that looks like a saw trap. Block set, <laughs> they all shoot out. The kind of holder I have is, like, way putting your fridge is magnetic, like that. Damn. Actually, I would like that. I want to get a magnetic strip to hang on my cool We had that when I was working. Those are useful. Oh, yeah, I love it. All of which have the identical exclusive construction methods, but differ in handle design and Sounds scary. What if the knife is too heavy, slides off? No, let's just bring the wall down. Well, I can take that risk, okay. three rivet handle. With the full tank and is this part is now, now he's just gonna try to sell us shit. I thought yeah. you were in it for the this for the knowledge transfer, the man. Let's you realize you're gonna try to sell me stuff and has a on a VHS handle. tape. As a professional S. Third is the five star series. This knife again has the mold. All right, but can you make a knife handle, out of bismuth? Also has the patented ergonomic handle Tried. design, which improves. Can you make a knife out of chocolate? Safety. And this finally, one grows your skill twice series, as fast. Which has the same patented ergonomic handle design. I know I've a man seen, in Japan that blows these out of the water. Permanently Where's the world's strongest toilet paper knife, huh? No <laughs> when are they gonna, like, <laughs> put the knife on a stove for ten minutes and then try to cut a gummy bear in half? The feel of each of the different series <laughs> Milk, sand, each resin? These all suck. Feel. They don't have any <laughs> exotic materials. Yeah, these knives are alright, but could I melt them down back to their basic elements? Yeah, come on. Whoa! Oh, they're gonna try it though. Well, this machine is doing it, not person. In cutlery craftsmanship, when you purchase. Yeah, shout out Kiwami Japan, by the way. In a lifetime of cutting enjoyment and cooking. You guys remember when like the I red hot knife was like that was the YouTube yeah. algorithm yeah. thing yeah. of the month? Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that feels like a them. that feels like a lifetime ago at this focused, point. Commit it really does. And practice. It was like. It was like. Take care. It was like Good 2018, luck. I feel like. I feel like it was yeah. 2016. I feel like it was a Thank long you, time ago. I feel like it was like hydraulic press stuff, red hot nickel ball stuff, and then the hot knife. So. I really thought you were going to say red hot nickel back for some reason. Nope, it's weird hearing about, that. about Kiwami ball. Japan and how they would, you know, make their knives and they said, yeah, like I would have, I would have like news reporters come in and then I would make the knife in front of them and they still wouldn't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> but how about red hot chili peppers? What was that? Yeah, YouTube's still going. I don't think they'll ever take off. All right. It's kind of underground. I learned. I I also learned that was actually learned. a useful tape. 
That was yeah, like one of the more useful tapes I've seen. Uh, how are we gonna fuck that up? Let's see what uh, what's next. Good tape, even though it scared me. Yeah, do you have one that's definitely, absolutely, like, incorrect information? Do you have one that'll make me forget? Probably. Alright, what's on this? Suspense. Is this is this like a blank tape? You don't know what's on this one? I don't was remember it what's on this one. <laughs> Just an entire episode of Seinfeld or something? I'm pretty sure this is something called the real secret of money or something like that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, secret it's this. Talking. It's so secret that it started off with a fake out. To it's a to business to business investors Wait, business daily said, like, presents this is not the real secrets the to making money with William J O'Neill, chairman and founder. Well, talking about something that's timely, talking about something that's relevant, talking about something that's really useful. You're talking about investors business daily. Mr. O'Neill's <laughs> system, investors this, business daily. If the advice so isn't sell stuff on eBay, program. then we have some conflicting schools of thought. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to be confused. I Absolutely. I mean, the the eBay strategy gives you infinite money and is risk free. So, can virtually and start risk-free. learning. So I don't think that people embrace things that are new. There are a lot of old myths, and people are very comfortable with those myths. I am one of the largest producers at my firm, and I don't look at the Wall Street Journal at all. Do you realize <laughs> you're the smartest people mistakes? in the world? Thank you, Jordan. Are the most successful country on Earth? America leads the world in high technology, computer software, new life-saving What's drugs, this video and about? Energy. We also have secrets money. of making money. New oh, even? Companies. companies you should definitely learn to invest in. Uh, that secret. Anybody can succeed in this new America if you're willing to work at it. Why do I call this a new America? Because today there are hundreds of outstanding companies growing rapidly and creating new products, new services. Oh, this is going to be about the stock exchange? New business and investment I think this is about a newspaper you can buy. There's also a new cycle. In and America. put it inside of a grill. Six months, months, start. A fresh okay. Yeah, a <laughs> newspaper to put inside your grill that you got on eBay. Scene. Did you know <laughs> it's about, it's it about all, a thing. website. It's all, and then you it's cut up your hamburgers with knives. It all yeah, oh my God, movies. it's all coming together. Everyone knows General Motors. Call that serendipity. But how many of you knew about companies like Amgen, Cisco Systems, or oh, here comes WebEx. Ascend Communications. I'm just curious to see how many of these are Cisco still around. Yeah. So why Cisco's don't the one take that I know. Of the enormous opportunities that occur every year them. in America. Every time I think about Cisco, I'm breaking the hives. It's a lack of knowledge, a lack of information, and sometimes it's just plain old fear. We know there are many different ways to look at the market, and the information in investors' business daily. It's a powerful resource for any investor. I want to punch want to this guy in the mouth. I don't know what it is. For identifying the very best. <laughs> Everything. Companies. Many years ago, Shitty tie. I decided to study the greatest winning stocks of it all It could be time. any character Find in any TV exactly show from that era. These companies yeah. perform so well. What villain, yeah. See, so it's like a villain. villain. Certain common characters. As an elderly white person in the late price. 80s, early 90s, I'm sure this person definitely was not born into a rich family. Also worked in <laughs> I'm sure this guy probably was raised on the streets. Of course, it works today. Oh yeah, and he he did a little bit of stimulants in the office because of the 80s. Probably the most important characteristic I found. Was it nearly all these companies ludes. had substantial? Oh, yeah, I think that he. I think that he body swapped with a more powerful individual. <laughs> IBD's unique stock tables are designed to help you quickly locate the companies with the very best earnings records. This is information you simply cannot find in any other newspaper in the country. <gasps> the first column in our stock. Wow! Oh, that looks good. I have now my brain I'm shut down immediately. Yeah. All the EPs. One company to all like all these albums coming companies. out. I listen to those on, on Spotify. From one to ninety-nine, with ninety-nine being the strongest. <laughs> For example, it's the one for Apple Music. With an earnings per share rank of 90 has outperformed 90% of all EBS other companies reports. in terms of its earnings record. 
when you're looking for the I'm best glad we have like websites you now. You don't have to buy a newspaper to get this kind of information. Yeah, it's like the first thing on your phone. I it comes up on your phone. Publishes yeah. Earnings figures for the yeah, you have to uninstall it when you buy it. Windows phone. won't stop showing Unlike me this information. We make it easy to find the strong performers by separating the best ups from the most downs. <laughs> the next common characteristic was I found was that most down. of the greatest stocks were actually I think most down is hockey. what I was voted on my high school year. Yeah, best up. I know well, the best up is likely to live in your parents' basement, so I'm quite down. Talk about stocks hitting new highs. But ask yourself this. How does a stock that's traded between $40 and $50 a share for the last year get to $100 a share? The answer is it goes 51. Is nobody well, gives a fuck. About Reddit. <laughs> the answer is that we double the money. Each step of the way, the stock is making a new stocks high. Stocks are price. up. If, you, if you're I a Mega64 sub, you know what to post. New highs. Stocks oh, yeah. are up. In my experience, that only about 2% of hey, investors buy stocks at new highs. I just paid $10.69 to Spotify USA. Price consolidation area, or what Look, we people, to bases, people like this guy, they want to try to make it, everything sound so complicated. Oh, buy our newspaper. You'll never figure it out on your own. True. Man, IBD. the stock market isn't real. It doesn't that matter. Sells for a certain price and basically yeah. it applies to None of it is real. It's just numbers. I you didn't realize that. Put money in it. On a daily it's so real they put in GTA 5. I mentioned Investor Business Daily, I was actually surprised to see how virtually they all read it. And, and the reason I asked them, why do they read it? And they said the quality of the information. It makes you want to invest and want to invest well. IBD For the duration of this video, I'm going to pretend the they're talking section. about the Steam the marketplace. You're <laughs> the top ground. cards to trade. Of course, our stock Here's the number one TS2 in the Steam marketplace. Whenever the emotes first of. came out, I bought so $25 worth of egg emotes. Companies. Hey, I, uh, it's true. Along with new price hey, I, 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 uh, I, I went away in the middle of the knife cutting video. Price. What is this? Sometimes the knife cutting video. Uh, how to make or money on it. Is this how to tell, this, this how to tell real stocks from fake stocks? The New America page and IBD profiles three companies. If it's a real Disney stock, creating it's spelled Disney and not Disney. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to do as an investor is locate oh leading companies. As an investor, do not buy CSGO gun. In top performing industries and avoid laggard companies, the ones with poor price performance and weak Avoid quality. laggers. One of the best Avoid ways laggers, to hackers, you see them teleporting DMers, around, don't IBD, play with them. Yeah. Glitchers. You see somebody teleporting two feet away from you. Players. They're a lagger. Avoid all ninjas. Anti Here are all the typos I made in my newspaper. The past 12 months. Rat children. <laughs> Pairs that performance to all the other publicly traded companies. Okay, let's, let's do a company that's out here. Share rank, relative price strength rank is shown on a scale they of got capital 1 trans. to 99, with 99 being the strongest. So, a company with a relative price strength rank of 90 has outperformed... Good job finding a tape that would shut my brain down. Price. You should concentrate on stocks with an and Too many numbers in this video. Price Can we get yeah. some, like, colors? I see the numbers stuff in one day. And remember... Like, that's why I look at that work, essentially. These kind of spreadsheets, I hate it. Back to the office. Now, because top -performing I don't want to go back to the office. ...often come from the same industries. IBD That's why I work from home. Top performing industry groups for the past six months, and our special weekend review feature <gasps> organizes the. There's so many things on that page. I can't even read, read them. So so you can buy this. Groups. You can pay for this in the nineties or whatever. That sounds. Because it's organized by industry groups. Could I would yours. put that in my that would, quick grill. The type, the type of people that would it's buy this magazine way. are not the type of people that have been able to read text that small. In the market. Huh. Now you've all heard of the law of supply and demand. They have to turn their eyes to stock as well as other goods and services. What I found from the study of greatest winners was most of these stocks had a low to moderate number of shares outstanding just prior to making their big moves. The reason is actually simple. They're big moves. The smaller the supply of stock and the greater the demand, the faster the price It's got such like a West Virginia and accent. And who creates the demand in the stock market? It's the institutional investor, the mutual funds and banks. These institutions buying. buy up large blocks of stock buying. and are a source of huge buying demand, thereby driving stock prices. Buying. Institutions behave just like an elephant climbing into a bathtub. They're so big, the water splashes all over the place. They simply can't hide their activity. For example, has approximately... It's really handy of this guy to explain why the stock market oh, is... Oh, whoa. They decide just what did they cut out? Investment he just tried to hide some activity. Stock. <laughs> they have to buy one point five yeah, he was, billion uh, dollars worth of that stock. He was doing some that legal stock trading. That's not going to go up in price. The volume will definitely expand. 
God, he sounds like fucking Lindsey Graham. That's who he sounds like. I beat then to skip over the footage where he spotted a mouse and ate it. Small commodities. demand. The stocks in the news. Many you can't do that when we're filming this. Show the total number of shares. All right, all right. Making finding these stocks easy. Features such as accumulation, distribution, and volume percent chains shown in our tables show you the level of buying and selling activity and alert you to the exclusive. unusual activity in your stocks. These numbers are exclusive. Well, it's not that exclusive. They put it on a VHS tape. World premiere. World premiere. You get a lot of Number information in a little space. I could smell My portfolio you. has increased <laughs> since reading the Investor's Business Daily. It's It has just offered me the opportunity to find more quality stocks. I think that's what IBD really helps people do is to get there first. One of the most valuable screens in IBD. That guy not get a name? Stocks with the greatest percent rise. In <laughs> no. I guess it's not. not. They didn't get a lower term. The right. largest increase in buying. They lost money from stock trading. I can't. I couldn't help myself. Um, I'm absorbing the information so quickly. <laughs> Please, I need more information. Other people talking. into the market when the market's heading up. And... All right, that's that's basically <laughs> the this tape. Mm -hmm. Get into the market while it's Tell going up. How to interpret the general market? I'm just like imagining my book, somebody came how to make money in stocks. Buying this tape. I don't want to They're really excited. They make popcorn. The turn on their market. big 14 inch TV All and I watch this. All I can say about investors' business daily is hey, shout out to Bill Small. Bill Small, prop man this and actor. There's going to be a bunch of people 30 years from now that are. Real happy they that guy looks like an actor. This guy looks like he belongs on Happy Days. He looks like Han Solo stunt up. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Too. Well, this, man. Interested in this woman looks like an English teacher I had once. Yeah, he looks like Hot Blue right. from the uh, prequel they made. To, uh, <laughs> he looked like the costume from the Primus music video. And our portfolio. And I feel like I can do that with more confidence. Uh, with the information that IBD provides. You want to know how to make money in stocks? You buy low, sell high. Done. There we go. You'll also uh, find the most complete coverage of mutual funds, bonds, options, and commodity markets. Yeah, just do like I did. Buy 25 shares of, Format. what was it, like Sirius XM, one of the make $20 IBD over five the years. Fastest growing newspaper <laughs> in the country. Boom, stocks. On one page. That paid for right half of my quick grow. And it gives you an edge in your business or professional <laughs> I'm busy. We're all busy. I don't have time to sit down and read a paper for an hour in the morning. I'm lucky to get 15 Jesus Christ. So I want it I'm so I'm busy with these stocks. <laughs> it's wonderful not to Oh, have to busy. I thought sip. she said. Oh, I'm so dizzy. I can't read. To <laughs> you get access to all spinning around I'm constantly dizzy. Support service. Women be shopping for stocks. <laughs> learning to invest takes You can find our newspaper in the clouds. No balance. And educational material. Girl bosses. To assist you in becoming a smarter, I literally girl bosses. Yeah. We're here to help you. They are believe I don't believe that when he says that. Successfully. But like you want to help else, me? He's not here to help us. He's here to make money. To succeed. Else would he make money? He's here to help us. Daily. The only if, reason anybody needs to be the support you need to make that hard work pay off in this new America. It's gonna help you. It's gonna change your life. Just give it a try. That's why I like his two-week trial because it's not one issue. God, he really is a just like a knockoff Harrison Ford. Yeah. <laughs> Here's something. Take a look at it. Maybe there's something inside you'll like. And uh, that's what happened. He's to a me. professional. <laughs> <Harrison Ford. laughs> what a sell! Take what a sell on your product. Then you take a chance, look in it. Maybe there's something you'll like. Understanding what this paper is about. And I think oh, yeah, somebody just say like a Bogdanov. Yeah, kinda. You're completely missing the point. Because the value of the paper is going to give you over time. I can't read your name correctly, sorry. It's going to whatever you're going to get out of having it. Yeah, Cthulhu in it. When you subscribe to IBD, you receive a significant discount off the newsstand price. When and you subscribe to IMDb, more, you're entitled to two free gifts. Mm -hmm. William O'Neill's powerful book, How to Make Money in Stocks as well as Maximizing Your Success, a video These comparing names. to investors. Maximizing your success. Like, look, I buy a newspaper and you give me more things to read? I don't have time for all this. Your subscription yeah, really my quick reel doesn't CEO. take books. I'm so dizzy. The world is spinning rates, all around me and or danger is coming please call subscriber from all directions. At and you want me to read. I have to be looking around constantly hours. in case people try Our to attack me with knives. Staff welcomes your inquiries. <laughs> And we'll make every effort to assist you. And then try you. to cook you on a quick start Investors grill. Business Daily can be Worldwide found on web. the internet oh, at www.investors.com. 
Our website contains some. Oh, I wonder if they still own that. Probably tour. not. And our exclusive education. It's an investor's course, website still. To help readers better yeah, but I wonder if it's IB, IBD. The information found in IBD. It is. It's the same. Wow. Thing. It is IBD. Oh, wow. yeah. Maybe they jumped on that early. Uh, they would have definitely flipped that for money. I guess they're good. And education Who would have? Please call 800 831 I think this is the one of the first times we've In gone addition, to one of these websites, and that's just the same people. For news about upcoming free seminars I don't know. All day you could play the stock market, area. or you could just Each go to the casino. Remember, however, it'll all be, it'll all be better quick America start grill. Hold on, wait. What was that you said, Trog? I said you could play the stock market, or just go to the casino and play some blackjack. How did your casino trip go? Right now. I did great. I got a million dollars. I don't think that's true. I have so much success in Los Santos Casino. That's, I don't think that's true either. I think that's true. Yeah, that's true. I like it when they flip the card over and then you get like a high number, but it's not bigger than 21, so you're like, yes. Yeah, if I'm going to lose all my money all at once, I'd rather do it in a place with lots of lights and sounds. Yeah, I don't know. Lose, I get I get twenty five thousand of... chips from from driving a van around and uh, if, putting posters up for uh, my nightclub business. If I'm gonna lose money, I, I might as well do it at a place that'll feed me and give me free soda. I yeah, I get free well. soda. You don't get free soda soda at the stock exchange, I don't think. You get free soda at the game. casino. They gotta up their shit. They got they still mellow get free yellow soda? too. It's like hard to find that shit. Do they still get free soda in your casino? Oh yeah. They don't do that here anymore. Well, sucks Why for you. Not? Come to Oklahoma. But don't stay in Oklahoma. <laughs> <All right. What's laughs> the that's the that's the state slogan. <laughs> Come here, but don't stay here. <laughs> I don't. I don't stay there. I go there to go to the casino, and then I go back home. Get in, cash out. Yep. I don't even know if there are any casinos in South Carolina. I don't think so. Oh, all right. I think I think this is one of the last ones. God. Oh, there's more. There's one, <laughs> one more. That's the that's the slogan of VHS. Ah. There's more. <laughs> oh, Bitcoin Productions. Oh boy. Raya House Cruise Night. Hey, at least we know exactly how long this one is. It's 20 minutes. <laughs> Start okay. the countdown. So this one, uh, all I know is the title, Profitable Cruise Nights. Apparently it's about, it's about selling a cruise night. This one's Wait. definitely relevant to all of our Do you have to... I think so. You have to buy Wait. a cruise liner? How does it? Wait, I, so I'm not, not sure. Wait, so is it? Well, yeah, let's watch. Let's watch and find out. Quit fucking Mr. around, you're wasting this guy's time. Mess, isn't he? He's trying to put on a cruise night and not having much success. Well, let's face it, we've all had days like this. I have have definitely had days like go that. Wrong. I really can't tell you that. But what I can tell you is how he should have done it. How to go right, I guess you could say. Wait, what is a cruise night? I'm Apparently I have no idea what that means. Cause yeah, what is I'm not sure. He's like working a projector for two people in the audience. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I think it's like... to sell trips on cruises. Yeah, yeah, is it, is it like just like a, a single night on a cruise ship where you can like, you know... I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Let's we'll find out. What is this, Dire Dire Docs? Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Alan. And I'm here on behalf of Holland America Line West Tours to lead you on the journey toward a profitable cruise night. My accent is you implaceable. You should bother I was going to say, I don't know what the fuck well, is accent. All, I could be from anywhere. Maybe the moon. It's really a group selling uh, New Delhi and it's, it's, it's accent is a combination of, of New Delhi and New Delhi. People, all interested in traveling. So, the most obvious benefit is the opportunity to pick up bookings. And you'll get a chance to promote like your room. agency and expand your clients. Nice. Very, very uh, homely. Let me show you. Yeah. Here's where we are. Let me show you homely my big thinking doubling. about what we want to do. And here's where we are going. Taking all the necessary what? steps just a to piece get of here. It's a very calming and welcoming Ooh. demeanor. I buy his cruise. Yeah, they were supposed I to put like a chart a behind him, but they did it, so they recorded it anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not going to deviate from the script, you so we're just going to have to roll with it.
Okay, so a cruise night. Okay, so a cruise night has to be like. It's not a cruise to anywhere. To like it just goes into the water and comes back, back to the dock. And select the cruise. And it's just like a single tour. night. You're like, interested in selling. Which your honestly, selling from where? Kind of sounds good to me because like, number of cabins, the, thing, like, the reason why I don't go on cruises is because they're boring. The because you run out of to do. But if it's just a single night, like eat out of the buffet, it's up to you. Go to the go to the show. And then do some fun stuff and then you're back on the to collect the But I think it's more event. than that, though. I think this exists in a time where, like... You have. And how I'm pretty sure this is just like this, having a night where people come to get advertised to cruise. For example, if you yeah, have yeah, I think this is instructing you to like and you become a middleman for a cruise service, essentially. Yeah. Like you yeah. are buying guests. spots on a cruise they liner and then selling them to other people. Oh my so god. You don't need that nowadays because you just go straight to the cruise line and you buy a ticket online or whatever. But I guess back in 1990, that was like much more difficult to do. You so it's like give you had to like find time. somebody so to sell you a ticket to a cruise. Ahead. Yeah, thankfully they legalized so it, so you don't have to go through a middleman. You may want this to use so the specific. helpful checklist Holland America has sent along with this, this video. Is, this is a, an incredibly well, wait. Did we get a checklist? Like yeah, the day of the week, I don't. I didn't get one. And the place. Oh, this isn't going to make any sense if we don't have our checklist. The there was a bit of crust so outside the cover of the tape. Though. With the weekend activities. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> I got a text from my cruise dealer asking if he was a good person. convenient for the people you want to invite. <laughs> if you're asking a group of retirees, perhaps afternoons would be best. Now we reveal as the hidden the door. Goes, <laughs> the if it's big enough. If not, See these books? I've we read also sell so virtual library, reality. Or a well-known community. You could write all of these books whenever you sure want. You sell cruise lines. And has plenty of power. What kind of cruise do you want? You want some white Yoda? This one goes to storm wind. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what a shot. The next thing to consider Determine is the theme. <gasps> What's the theme Select of your the theme cruise? That ties in with the destination you're promoting. Uh, Use the imagination. I love a Caribbean theme myself. Pick up Lego. some festive music to set Lego. the mood. <laughs> have fun and dress the part. My cruise dealer claimed it was a cruise ship. You may want to consider to doing a cross promotion. That's when you and another business put on the event together. Like I a, would take a tour show at up. a local mall. So would I. Theodore. Great. Not only okay, you set up immediately got back up. But you also share customer contact. Get on the bike. Get on the bike. He's nervous. It's raining. He's nervous because it's, he's going to get on that... Oh, he <laughs> pussed out. Oh, I thought for a second he was, he was running beside the bike. <laughs> <laughs> he's just pretending double. to ride it. <laughs> he's like running like he's riding it. Yeah, he was. <laughs> oh, don't. Now the wow, really very begins. trusting. Who to yeah, this is... Who really takes it? Affinity groups are good. You know, people who already share a common interest. Why is he... This is, this is a kind journey. of weird framing. He's just climbing a it's ladder. It's a good time to get your staff involved. They can help you brainstorm which stunts. organizations you might like to target and what groups they are already affiliated with. Fundraising and church groups This guy feels like good. he's uh, actually or a super villain. This is his front. The clubs and organizations. I like his sweater. Remember, people yeah, the sweater's nice. Yeah, it's like in the, it's like often in the enjoy one. traveling together. Of course, you'll want to use your established this. client list. It's a good way to keep in contact. Kind of like calling on old friends for a party. The point is, plan ahead. Map out a strategy. Because then, you can budget. Somewhere out in that field, he has a missile silo. I really feel like oh, all of is. this advice is incredibly <laughs> common sense. Yo, what is that? Is that a cannon? That's a cannon. He's about to I told you he's a villain. Oh That's my god, dude. He's a villain. He's a villain. He's a villain. He's evil. And then, stay within the budget. Remember to if always budget all the other your cruise liners, they only have one choice. <laughs> Remember to always have a budget when you're planning a cruise. You is this is my horrible time. machine, which Perhaps destroys all your life. One of your affinity groups. If a rival if cruise tries house, to ruin your party, like house, use this. It's actually a cruise ship. I'll bet they let you use their facilities. You're gonna need to provide defenses for your cruise night. I can't believe I predicted that. I thought that was like a spotlight or something, and then it goes to the wide, and it's a fucking cannon. It was a bit of a struggle riding the bike there, I don't know. Didn't look very... You forgot how to ride a bike. 
The next oh, I like that. I want that like poster. The combination yeah. of the music and the constant wide shots make this gives this like a, a dreamlike quality. Yeah, it's very. It's like whenever he's not talking, it's just like a dream sequence. And be sure to call your friends at Holland America to get a hold of this valuable desktop publishing kit. Holland America will assist you in preparing professional camera-ready flyers, customized to your agency and promotion. Flyers are a great way to let people know the particulars of the cruise you're selling. Let's go, you flyers! You can your cruise night instead of brochures. Ooh. Not only is this service free, it's easy and saves you time. Just like eBay. <laughs> Now's a good time to think Holding about the Holding cruise nights is virtually risk-free. Here's a sample. <laughs> and it, it can, can get you infinite money. Paradise Travel <laughs> invites you to preview our... <laughs> Just use PayPal. ...as Nordan to the sunny Caribbean. Please join us. And of course, there's the date, time, and place. Free door prizes. The, has anybody here ever quest. been on a cruise? And be nope. sure no. to include a phone no. on one, I think. So they can RSVP. Not willingly. I hated it. One more thing. Well, <laughs> they, they forced you on it. Right. Like Actually, I've been on a short ferry cruise, but I don't really count that. I yeah, oh, I guess, I guess it was a like ferry. I big-ass cruise line. Yeah, like, no, it was a ferry no. then, because I remember cars being thank near you. where we Why? were. Thank you so much. I don't I need a ride. I've thought about it, oh, by the way, everyone has warned me that they're boring and terrible. They are boring. They definitely terrible. seem like they're for older folks. They're for old people where if they died while on that ship, they wouldn't care. Like, if, like, like, <laughs> my life, like, like the idea, the idea of now like you're ready to let the world know what's happening. Trap on the the pair of press release and to send it to the lifestyle and travel editor of every of newspaper phase. in town, like that, including that weekly, suburban, that. and senior publications. The way that all these shots are framed w. makes it look like makes it look why. like there's a and camera also, crew following this guy around him and, and surprising him, and every time he like sees the camera, <laughs> he like has to say another two lines, then and then he runs the away. They got they gotta the find him again. Whatever groups you plan to target, don't forget to contact. It feels like an NPC coming to talk to you. Oh, by the way, if you're already <laughs> that shot especially. Oh, by the way, you add with your cruise night information. If I was on a if cruise, not, I'd probably just spend the whole time eating. Of Holland, it. Honestly, if it's like kit. free food, it's I would do that. It's full of information, if it's yeah. included yeah. in the price, yeah. that would be me. With cruises, it's maritime law, right? So you can like do some crazy stuff. You're not under the jurisdiction of. Oh, of what do you have to do? Rent law. a film projector and video door prices. Say, that reminds me. Remember to call a hall in America. Oh my god, a, a done? movie rental during your cruise night. Films work best for large audiences. And what videos. Videos make great door prizes. Yeah. You I'm can sure also they use do. them as an incentive for getting it your clients to make nights. the booking deposits. Chances are they'll share their video with friends, which could lead to additional bookings. Get your orders in at least one month before the event. As far as lining up the film projector goes, be sure to find the best price by calling around. Or maybe the facility has one you could borrow. Oh, I thought it was going to become like ominous music for a second. Yeah, that sounded like... <laughs> you know, it really would have made sense if they the recorded part. some of this on a cruise, Some you know, people like the nautical look, but purchase decorations that tie in with the theme you selected. And don't forget to include signs and banners that feature your agency name. To let your guests know who you I are. just feel like getting on a cruise ship is like well, what if the people are there. annoying then you're like stuck there for like steps. a week true what if objectives? everybody smells bad what they're like or cruise tour do you want to sell what if somebody has a disease, disease. <laughs> eat the food how many people to invite? I mean, I've, I've talked to people who've Plenty gone on night. with their Budget. partners Remember and their <laughs> wives nice. they were still bored out of their sales promotion materials Order the invitations. Get the word out. Let people know. Order your PS5 on videos. All it takes that is, is just one the call tiniest to little that video. Is, yeah, that is a strange <laughs> location to use to, for that. That's everything. Oh, a few more Why things. Why are you sitting now? When your clients are as VP, suggest to bring a few friends along. Make it's the Friday the 13th the movie where Jason is on the, on the, sure to call and remind on the boat. <laughs> and he's I was in the about to like say, there's minutes. a Friday the 13th movie on a cruise ship, but of course there's a Friday the 13th movie on a cruise ship. I think they, I think they do sell... I think they Who's do sell... Who's survive? But the work's not like, done yet. You Give yourself plenty of time to get the like, room ready. Time. You'll need at least four tables. One for check-in when the guests arrive, 
an information table, a booking deposit table, and another for refreshments. Set up the seats theater style so everyone can see. God, seeing and these you. seats and, and that setup just reminds me of be shitty sure school. To place a copy of your presentations yeah. on in the each gym. Chair. Yeah. The worst seats that I wanted to get out of immediately. I never had that. I've been to a lot of schools too, so I never. I don't Did you know. have a film projector? No. You should check out your audiovisual equipment ahead of time. Be sure it's working and that you have an extra lamp for the projector just in case. And remember to assign one of your staff to handle the lights. Oh, and don't forget to test the sound system and microphones. Be prepared. You can just Can't use these going, tips oh, here next yeah, to it. The most important part of a cruise night is right after the film. I feel like when half the of the tips have been like, just prepare. Sell. Just prepare yourself. You prepare your talk ahead of Be time prepared. and then practice. I thought you were supposed to tell me As how. As a matter of fact, it's a good idea you're saying how. to go through the entire agenda with your staff before the guests arrive so that everyone knows what's happening. Hey, look! We should make a uh, RTBS cruise. Right on time. Charge Nice people. success. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome to the Charge cruise night. Charge people for an RTVS cruise, Good but then, like, we don't go on the cruise. Have them fill out the entry forms for the prizes. <laughs> that sounds like a disaster. The end of the evening. These entry and forms will like, provide the information. There's no the staff or nothing. It's just... And to add the guests <laughs> onto the client list. There's no, there's no sure uh, captain either. With the name, address, <laughs> the boat just the telephone slowly number. drifts. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. I forgot they need someone to drive the cruise ship. Bring your own captain cruise. Welcome you to our Now the presentation begins. They can't allow BI with... BYOB, so just bring your and captain. remind them why they're there to hear bring your all own about boat. the exciting trip you've planned. They had that bring your own water. Outside. Build up some excitement and let them know you'll be explaining all the details. I love the, the palm trees. Leave. It really adds to it. Here's a taste of your next vacation. Huh. A cruise to the sunny Caribbean. Sign up for the RTVS Death Valley Cruise. I think if we ever like put well, together a, a cruise region. liner we would somehow for unrelated reasons or i guess related completely related reasons like end up on trial yeah mm -hmm. none of us know how to manage that was a plan. that was a quick video that they showed them well it looked nice the time it made me want to go on a cruise those exciting details. There's one drone uh, shot the sailing date the itinerary the ports of call and the all inclusive cost refer your yeah, guests I'm to the flyers you've left on their seats and be yeah, sure I mean, I guess. What else is there to do? With Holland, America. Like Might the as superb well. service, spacious cabins, elegant decor, and their popular cash <laughs> and, and tipping not required policies. A cruise is like the and opposite of what I would enjoy. Tipping discount. not required. Trapped, you hear that? trapped on a boat with people I don't know, not able to do anything that I want to do. I don't know. It, I it, it's a completely like artificial like environment. Only to like, yeah, I think it's like the, the presence of other people that could throw a wrench in it. Yeah. So if I could go and on like a personal cruise somehow, I'd do It's called buying a boat. But I don't want to drive the boat. Nelson. Yeah, there's no buffet. Like, it went. Come on up. And there's no buffet. I would like to be on a boat with people I know exclusively, or yep. I would like to be like in the fucking woods. Yeah, exactly. I want to be in a woods. Go on a cruise in the woods. What you like being on the water is fun. Boats are neat, but buyers. like I don't want to be around strangers. Right, there's different kinds of cruises. Chuck. Your guests are already excited yeah. about the possibility of a cruise. Or nobody's come up with a so don't flying get away. ship yet. In spite of all of our efforts, invite them to stay for a I wanna, I wanna be on the on the top of a boat in the sun, in the water with, in, well, not in the water, on on the water with my friends, while there's a, a bounty of barbecue available for everyone. But if they're not quite ready, direct them to the information table. This gives you the opportunity to hear their concerns and answer. If we ever arranged anything bizarre, it'd be an RTVS camping trip. <laughs> Death I'm Valley. not doing an RTBS In Death camp. Valley. Or objections. Uh, they misspelled objection. To sell the objection. Trip, you just got to give them the right answer. For, For ejections. Instance, if one of your guests is afraid of getting seasick, you can explain that Holland America ships are over 700 feet long and fully stabilized. And there's always medication available that's been proven to be both safe and we've only and sank effective. two of them. 
Bro, don't Please worry, you can't get it. sick. The what boat is so big. Yeah, look, it's so huge. If it starts to, like, if, it, if, it, if there's any issue whatsoever, you could run and, like, jump and fly to the city. That's how long it is. I do like this. It'll be a launching pad. I see where the logic is of, like, oh, I might get seasick. Oh, it's big. But it is funny to think, like, what if I get seasick? Oh, don't worry, the boat is big. Yeah, that it's I feel like I'd make it worse. Like, you, you, you see it requires how big this a sort of like logical, the next logical step. Do you, do you see how big this boat is? It's the size of a mountain. If you get sick, you're All lying the to steps me. We've taken so far have led us to this point. Getting the booking deposit. The deposit what if I get seasick? What if I get seasick? Don't be I like stupid. If, I feel like if I was sick, I'd want to get off the boat, and knowing it's huge would make it ten times worse. Yes like, no <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I started getting migraines to leave a booking deposit. on a cruise, then, I would hate my life. Like to pay for it? Cash or check? This is where your cruise night becomes successful. Let's think of getting the when you get paid. It's pay time, baby. Like this one. You see, once they oh. deliver that booking deposit, that's what they're doing. Climbing on for the trip. You've told them where to take them. You've told them what a great value it is. This when you think so about ace. it, helping them onto the bus is the friendly thing to do. I don't want to live in this room. I never want to visit this room. Turn to the decade. 1990, baby. Nice. Oh, look, look at that, that money. Stack. Look at that. Oh God, he's now, fucking loaded. Did you get that from eBay? Send thank you hey. to those who signed up. Postcards to the ones who are right thinking about it. He got all of that money from attempt. selling Hot Wheels, and, and now he's using great it's a new boat. This are what you'd call great prospects. Now this is the Better most important step. A Once they're all in the cruise, market. there are no Remember, laws, so you can the rob them. energy you spend <laughs> organizing a cruise night does pay off, and pays off big. Remember, you still only sail into international waters and rob them. That's not a boat. That's a plane. I'm, this is a rip off. <laughs> I want my money back. We've we've tricked you all. We actually sold you a plane trip. Fuck this. This sucks. How did I get out here? Isn't this illegal? Into the sky. <laughs> I wish I Welcome to your dream once again. Think how good I actually hate planes, so I tricked everyone else to go on instead of me. Of Here's a boat I conjured in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these miniature <laughs> boats I made. What is that? That's so shallow! That's that just gonna <laughs> <hold itself. laughs> That was, a that was the shore! That was straight up the shore! I wanna get going. I'll have to help that, that dude was just straight up going for like a swan dive belly flop onto like just sand. It did look just like sand. he was diving directly into rocks. <laughs> this man is gonna get dashed on the rocks. This man's not gonna be alive anymore. <laughs> oh my perfect God. Nobody was oh, really close shallow. <laughs> that is too close to the shore. Nobody would suspect a thing. This, 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 is like, this, this is literally something out of like a wily coyote bit. That man's gonna like make a perfectly <laughs> man-shaped hole. You and your stuff. He's gonna like his his he's like his bad. spine is gonna be and he's gonna like scrunch it on the ground. Gonna become a real life bionicle. Awesome! What does that mean? <laughs> He's gonna fall the the the, the 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 McDonald's ones. Oh, I see what you mean. Or they just made them like crunched. Yeah. They All just right, made I'm convinced. Oh, I see what you mean. I'm convinced. With their little hand. You're convinced? I don't think I'm even gonna do eBay. I'm just gonna do a cruise night. I think Can that's. Can I sell cruise nights on eBay? Yes. You probably could. Can I sell Hot Honestly. Wheels on a cruise? Yes. <laughs> and and walk listen. around with a trench coat full of Hot Wheels and ask people if they want to buy some, if and, they want and, to auction and, it. And this is this is how you get them like interested in the cruise. You be like, oh well, you think this is just an ordinary cruise, but we've got knife lessons, we've got newspaper oh. prints, we've got it all. It's all you can use eBay on this boat. Oh, you could correct. you could auction sell everything on this boat. First come, first serve. <laughs> All right, I went to I went to a cruise night, and they so, while I was there, they offered uh, an additional prize for for showing up. They gave me a grill, and they, it's fueled by newspaper. I was like, oh, newspaper! Mm -hmm. I I know where to get that. There was a bunch of newspaper in the box when I ordered some some stuff to resell on eBay. <laughs> I ordered these nice. knives to resell on eBay. Mm -hmm. I saw an advertisement for them in in the in the business paper. 
which I'm putting Beautiful. into my grill that I got from the cruise night. <laughs> the, 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 the VHS cinematic universe called uh, Aka Life. Yeah. <laughs> settle, life. settle down, sir. Settle down. Just take a dive into this pool head first and it'll all become clear. <laughs> then the cruise night becomes real. Awesome. All right. I think that's oh. that's the last tape. There is there's Thank another God. one, but I'm gonna keep it for the next time because it's I think it's about making like scary masks, no, no, but it's no, like an no, hour and no. a half long. Oh shit. It's oh a very God, long, a long one. Tape. Yeah. A what? But I'm it's a it's a tape about making scary masks, but it's it's very it seems very amateur. I think it's just footage of someone making a mask, so just one the yeah, just or one. two, one or two people. Just it's yeah, it <laughs> seems I'm gonna keep it for the next time, I think. But it's an hour and a half long? It's long, it's long. It was so yeah, it was long. <laughs> it be, this better be like some Hollywood grade like film. It did look for... decent, but we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see next time. Uh next until time then. On there were there's viewings. There was a large amount of of money related ones this time around. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and, yeah. And some some food, but a lot of money ones. I didn't even a know lot, the cruise our, nights our, one our would be our profitable. Our audience is gonna get rich. Hey, I'm just saying. The game clam too will make you money. And so I was about to say, statistics. game clam exactly. should have been on one of these tapes because uh, it's a, it's a proven method. They they I needed people... to go into the future and they should have bought the license to show game clam I on the I bet people would buy a VHS tape of the Game Clam presentation. Honestly, yeah, honestly, I could, I could make that. It would be that would be good if we sold a VHS tape. It would also be good if we just made one VHS tape and donated it to a Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> just wait, plant it, plant See, it there. I'll make like get like yeah. a cover made that that makes it look like like a real VHS of, tape from the yeah. from the nineties. Mm -hmm. I did that with uh, one of the VHS converters I made for you a while it's ago. Out, <laughs> it's it's out there. Can you find it? It's you it'll find be like it. We planted it somewhere. Trail. It's like under. A, it's someone it, out there has a skating video. It's near. It's near a construction site somewhere. It's not even at a Goodwill. <laughs> we planted it. <laughs> we we buried it. <laughs> it's hiding. Put it in the gaps between two pieces of concrete before it gets warm in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right well that was the tapes for tonight uh i hope y'all enjoyed it and uh doing the same thing last thursday of the month as usual this time it came around a bit early because i think june ends on a wednesday so this was one of the one of the earliest ones but i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready to plan a cruise night i'm confident Yippee. very confident all right Thank you, thank you to everyone who showed up to watch the videos. Yep. Thank yeah. you to the yeah the cool people in the voice call. And uh, we're gonna wrap up. Yeah, anytime. Oh, yeah. All right. Goodbye. Bye. 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 I'm gonna become so profitable from my cruise night. It's going to be amazing. I like that tape. I want to make I want to make a a compilation of all the dreamlike sequences and transitions from that. That one was 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 one of the more creative ones, I feel. All right. Let me just check back in here to wrap up as we're wrapping up the stream. And since we were on the topic of Game Clam, the Game Clam video should be up soon. Probably within the next few days. The slide whistle, yes, the slide whistle. I need more of the slide whistle. The TV always falls off here. I don't I don't understand why that keeps happening. Where are we?
the TV always falls off. Good to see. Oh my god. Thomas Thomas being revealed by the TV falling off is really good. Alright. Thank you for tuning in. Um, next stream uh, is probably going to be on Sunday. Sunday at around maybe 7, 8 p.m. Eastern where I'm going to do my first you know, it's such, it's such a a staple. People always want stuff like this. My first cooking stream where I'm gonna actually just play Hell's Kitchen on the Wii, so. That's gonna be Sunday evening. I didn't know Hell's Kitchen on the Wii existed, but that'll be Sunday Sunday night. Um, I'm looking forward to that. And there's a few other food-related games. There's a Food Channel game. Um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to Hell's Kitchen, so. That's Sunday, Sunday evening. I might pop in maybe tomorrow or Saturday late at night to wrap up Resident Evil 7. Um, and the Resident Evil 7 VOD is probably going to go up before then, maybe tonight. If you want to catch up on that, we're almost done that game. Uh, so that might be yeah, Friday, Friday, Saturday, late night, probably like 11 p.m., like real late night chill. Um, and yeah, Sunday, Hell's Kitchen. And there's more stuff to come. As usual, keep an eye out on the schedule on Twitch. That stuff's always changing around, but I schedule stuff in advance. Or check out the Discord where I announce my streams. Uh, use the command VHS to get a, a playlist of all the past VHS viewings. If you want to catch up on some classic moments. And uh, I'll see you all very soon. Thank you for watching. It's cooking. Baba. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Slam. Waiter, there's an eye in my soup. Chicken noodle and minestrone are for wimps.
Even for a mighty ogre like Shrek, dinner can be creepy when it stares back at you. You have 60 seconds.